All right, it's three days and change out from the kickoff of Election Day. We're technically about four days out. And this always happens a few times a year when something mega massive, seismic happens. Uh, I will wake up at about 4 o'clock in the morning. And I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I was pacing around the house until my kids got up at 6 a.m. I went and woke them up, and it hit me. I said, it's Doug Hagman and others that came on the show two days ago. This is even before it was in the news. He said his NYPD sources said they were going to bring out the occult, um, child molestation, you name it. And, and we know that sources we have inside the federal government say that that is what is in the later coup de grace or final blow of WikiLeaks if Hillary didn't step down. And now the final chapter before that's released has come out, and it, it quite frankly is that chapter. These people make me so angry that I was almost not able to even get on air right now, and that's not theater when I say that. And I think about the scum, the scum that have supported this. This is hardcore Aleister Crowley, nastiest of the black magic, black magic. And good God, folks, it's tied into Haiti. It's tied into women that have gotten in trouble trying to bring in undocumented Haitians into the United States, children, uh, disappeared children, you name it. It is just the fountain of evil. And it's exactly the sect and group and, and everything we already knew. I've, I've explained to you about New York City. And, of course, you know what the late, great director, Stanley Kubrick, tried to expose in his last film. He refused to cut 24 minutes. He died right after he refused, and he had final edit as he did, final cut uh, on all of his movies, and he died. His protege, of course, uh, his, his daughter, Vivian Kubrick, has never spoken to the public about the information. And she wouldn't tell me a lot of it, but she said it was too dangerous to myself and my family. But she said, you already know. And she, she, you know, she told me some things. Uh, he was never involved in it, but uh, he was obviously, being in Hollywood, aware of it. And I'm just going to stop right there. Stop right there. The FBI isn't perfect, but this is so corrupt and so evil, it's got a total mutiny going. You noticed the London Guardian published hours before WikiLeaks came out, and Paul Watson discovered this, and Drudge top-linked it at DrudgeReport.com. Let's put it up on screen. That the FBI said, quote, we believe she's the Antichrist and will destroy the world. If you actually go further what they said, that they believe that she'll want to destroy the Earth. The FBI doesn't talk like that, folks. I told you a month ago, I said, Obama and Hillary are devil worshipers. The Secret Service has told me, members of the military have told me, that Obama seems really nice. And then all of a sudden, you'll be walking down the hall, and it's like, in fact, I didn't tell you half of it, okay? Just, it's, these people are scared. I told you they're having nightmares. They don't want to be there. It's, it's very dark, is, is the words I was told. And Hillary's even worse, folks, okay? Currently serving FBI agent said Clinton is the Antichrist personified to a large swath of FBI personnel. And that's the that's the liberal whistleblower, like, oh my God, most of the FBI hates her. They literally think she's the devil. That's the reason they're leaking. They're pro-Trump. Folks, it's because they know what's in the WikiLeaks and they know what else is coming out. The NYPD's got even worse stuff. And let me tell you, it isn't just sex with kids. I don't even want to show you the video of what they put out in their private party invites to each other. The Podesta and others says he attends. But it's hardcore. We're going to show it. You better get ready, folks. This is who wants to rule you and your family. Is the coven leader of a branch of Aleister Crowley, Black Magic, recognized to be the most absolute vicious committed worldwide network and according to his uh teachings there must be the blood of children and innocence and he reportedly the most wicked man ever to live which i don't really believe but he's their modern modern god killed his own son now it's all over the internet i don't want to be proven right i wish this wasn't true one of the top trending deals on reddit 
was, I can't believe we live in a world where Alex Jones is always right. The top YouTube comment, when you go to the video uh, of some of their promos for rituals they do, the top link is, oh my God, Alex Jones was right again. It's not that I was right again, I was right. Now, d d discretion's advised before we show any of this. Let's, l l let's not get to any of this now. If, if folks want to see it, it's up on Infowars.com and DrudgeReport.com. What are we talking about? Let's, let's go to Drudge and show that headline because it all ties in. The, the, the three top headlines on Drudge. There's a London Guardian article, FBI agents see Antichrist. But literal, by the way, is the quote. Personified. They believe she is in incarnate evil. Now, they know what's in the WikiLeaks, ladies and gentlemen. That's why. This is who Podesta and Hillary run with. Podesta goes, this is in his emails, to the events, and they discuss what's on the menu. Placentas, flesh parts, blood, lots of blood, mainly blood. Then they talk in clear code about what else is on the menu. In the menu promo pack, it shows a child's severed head, appears to be an effigy, with the ground up blood being dumped on top of it, the, the, the blood and other tissues. There is then a ceremonial cookie made to look like a child that is black, purple, blood, that is enjoyed. Now, this is all in Aleister Crowley's writings. That's why instantly this morning, when I saw it in Paul Watson's story that's up on DrudgeReport.com, I knew what it was. I saw the headline and I went, that's Crowley. Had to read down to see it was Crowley. Now, Drudge has a pretty accurate headline. He, he changed ours a bit, but it's Wiki Wiccan. Wiccan is the popularized system they use to recruit people in. This is really hardcore, super ancient Middle Eastern slash Babylonian hardcore black magic. Now, the average Wiccan and I, aren't, aren't actually nice people. Uh, they're totally deceived. The, the, there's all these other ancient religions and earth religions and things that, that they kind of put at the front door. And then once they induct you into it, you learn it's Satanism. Now, I personally experienced this when I was growing up in the richest county in Texas. And I make that point because... There were just billionaires and mansions all over the place out in the countryside. And it really got to be a bummer where I wouldn't get hot girlfriends in the town anymore. Because, I mean, I just thought I was super handsome getting the senior, super, you know, you know beautiful girl in her you know, fancy Bentley or Jaguar. But then I'd learn after I was dating her a week or so that that really wasn't the case. I was being recruited into Satanism. And I just was not going to be part of it. Super creepy. I mean, I've repeatedly been there where you're, you're in the woods at a big, huge barn by a mansion, and there are people with hoods on and police cars and stuff parked. I mean, out of a movie. That's why I've always told you about this. And they really wanted me because I was real good looking. I was beating up guys weighed 100 pounds more than me uh, who were starting fights. Uh, I, was, I was a wild man. Uh, but I loved God. Big, big difference. And... They were just trying to recruit me into it because the times I was there, there was not a lot of young people there that I would see at these things. I mean, a few times I'd have to you know, duck off and then walk miles out of the woods. And then a police car pulls up and what are you doing? And blah, blah, blah. Well, what's your problem? Why don't you go back? And then all of a sudden you start getting pulled over when you're you know, going to school and, you're, and, and your older buddy's driving you and the cops are after you. And again, most police departments aren't into this, but when the Satanists get control, they've got the cops. And the police know this. They know there's certain jurisdictions that are under this control. God help us. We're in so much trouble, folks. We are in so much trouble. And if you think you couldn't shake a stick or throw a stick in the dark and hit a group of devil worshipers in Rockwall, Texas, right in the middle of a supposed big Bible belt, then you better believe in Manhattan. Woo! Manhattan, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., um, Santa Rosa, I mean, it is, it is unbelievable. And these people got all the money, all the power, you know, they could have a hundred mistresses, they could have whatever they want, and that's not what they want. 
They want the thrill they believe they get by being possessed. And by the way, we're, we're putting it all together. Bill Clinton in his own book admitting he likes voodoo. They're, they're printing it all off for me right now. Uh, I've got uh, the Washington Post and CNN here. 1996, book says Hillary talks to the dead, has seances. Uh, remember, that's just a gateway to get people that she wants to, you know, involved into the cult. And then once you've been in a cult with FBI people and CIA and, and, and presidents and stuff, I mean, you don't go back. You don't turn out of that because who's going to believe it? No one's going to believe it. But then in the Hollywood movies and the culture, they're throwing it in our face. They're telling us how it works. So we're, we're collating all of this right now. It's up on Infowars.com. It's up on DrudgeReport.com. We're all doing videos on it, my whole crew, breaking it down. And, and here's what's the most horrific about this. I want to be clear. I'm not saying everyone that's going to these events is a real devil worshiper. I'm not saying at all these events or even most of these events, they're actually killing kids. You know, as they talk about placenta here, because that's as close as you can get to it. They call it an aphrodisiac for sex rituals. But to be clear, the, 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 this is the gateways. Ouija boards, seances, then Wiccan, you know, new age. And then as you get deeper, oh, actually, we've got to worship both aspects, the destructive and the empowering you know, and the light. And then, oh, oh, actually, actually, we're, we're all about our own personal power and dominating and killing everybody and enslaving. But that's who the Luciferians have put in is a satanic group pushed by MI5, MI6, and others, not the entire organizations, but groups within it, to have horrible, evil people that they can compromise who will do anything they're told. It's like an operating system to just do horrible things. The people above it are Luciferians, and they do not take part in the blood and the bathomet and the sex orgies. They're all super pious, they believe, and just having to cleanse the earth of the human infection for Lucifer so that we can ascend with Lucifer rising and merge with the silicon and become gods. Now, those guys were having visions in the 1850s. Galton, uh, uh, the Huxleys, the uh, Darwins. The, this is all in their books. You just don't hear it popularly pushed. And they would have like week-long visions and then say biometrics and computers and double helix and we're going to build a huge system and control everyone and we're going to have spacecraft and there's going to be atomic weapons and here's the equations. They actually had all that by the 1860s and 70s. They believed they were interdimensionally being given. Now, now the media will separately make fun of me for all this, but then it's admitted that that's what they did and then now you see them practicing it. But again, the, the Clintons and people are practicing the Satanism because that's like an operating system just for like goblin creatures, uh, and I say that you know, metaphorically, that serve the final group above them. But the, the Satanists are the big operating system they're using. The Satanists work for the Luciferians. If you want to, and again, no one else explains this cosmology the way I do. People say, well, I read this book that said something different. Look, I know, okay? I know. I reverse engineered it, I've studied it. My whole life's been basically brushing up against it over and over again like a Stephen King novel, okay? It's like the Red King and the Gunslinger, all right? And you need to understand, folks, this stuff's real. This stuff's going on. And you need to understand that we're in deep crap. And the people in our government aren't perfect, but they realize Hillary gets in, she wants death and destruction. She basically Linda Blair's, folks. She rolls around the carpet spitting and snapping. Some of that's even come out in the news. She just flips out. She goes into trances. I was talking to one Blackwater guy about some other folks I'd talked to that done detail for her, and he was like, yeah, no, she didn't really, she didn't really, you know, she screamed and yelled and hated everybody and was really angry, but she'd also trance out and, like, switch off. I go, what do you mean? It, well, it's kind of like in Star Wars when, I think I'll switch off now, sir. It's like, okay, and C-3PO just goes, Ch -ch -ch. So MK Ultra mind control, they use these satanic rituals too as fronts for that. But really, that's how they get it through Congress because it's not really fronts for that. The mind control is the front for the ritual because the ritual is the mind control. It's just the old name of it. A secret society is just the old name for an intelligence agency, public or private.
So see, what's old is new. Nothing new under the sun. These are mind control programs that are being carried out right in front of everybody, and it's breaking on Infowars.com. But I thought, instead of just burrowing into all this at first, I would give you just some of my perspective background on it. But Infowars.com is going to be the clearinghouse because I can see it. I can intellectually know it. I can also feel it. This is the massive tipping point. When I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, I said, this is the day. This is the day that the spirit trying to uh, control this country may be overthrown. But it's up to us. This is a major battle happening now. We all need to be praying to Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday, the fourth day of November 2016. We are just three and a half days out from the most historic election in U.S. history. Nationalism versus globalism, the entire world watches. Podesta, the chairman of Hillary Clinton's campaign, the guy at the center of WikiLeaks, only one window into this crime network, and it's foreign governments buying Hillary off. It's incredible corruption. It's manipulating the media. Uh, it's talking about rigging the polls with oversampling. Every crime you can imagine, proving she lied, proving she lied to Congress and the FBI. In the emails, they talk about covering up the very investigation. Red-handed, open and shut. And we've warned the globalists. I had one of our insiders on who has high-level contacts in the NYPD two days ago, Doug Hagman. We need him back on today, even if it's 10 minutes. And he said it's going to come out that there's pedophilia, the occult, you name it. That's the headline from the article we did and, and the interview two days ago. WikiLeaks today, the latest data dump. Paul Watson gets it out first. DrudgeReport.com has the massive headline. We'll put it on screen right now. Clinton campaign chairman practices Aleister Crowley black magic. Menstrual blood, semen, breast milk. Most bizarre WikiLeaks revelation yet with a high priestess who world leaders visit and top rap and Hollywood stars visit who carries out a form of ritualistic sex magic developed really just taken from older rituals, by Aleister Crowley. Menstrual blood, semen, breast milk, most bizarre WikiLeaks revelation yet. And ladies and gentlemen, I told you that the Secret Service and others told us that they're into the occult, but I don't need to believe my sources. I have Bill Clinton in his own book, My Life, The Early Years, where he talks about how he loved voodoo, how God is manifest in humans through spirits, good and evil, and how he believes in voodoo. Voodoo is a very ancient form of this, but you notice it's manifest in every culture, the same belief that something's entering into you, but you've got to do bad things to open it up. So it's a psychological technology if you don't believe in God. But they've so blinded atheists and people that they won't even look at this as anthropology. Like, look at Haiti and what came out of Western Africa or Eastern Africa. Think about this. So, so we've got Bill Clinton writing chapters about how much he loves Port-au-Prince, the Haitians, and voodoo, and how God is manifest through this and how he believes in it. I mean, go read it for yourself. His book, not mine, his book. This is their operating system. And... In the Podesta email where he's being invited and saying, of course, he's going, and they're promising him all the deliciousness that will be there. Paul Watson gets into the fact that the FBI and others talk about this perhaps being, not perhaps, leaning strong evidence towards code words. Code words for children. But it gets worse. In the rituals that she's released, it shows the severed head of a child, their high priestess, Again, appears to be an effigy, but it's got neck tissue hanging out, pouring ground up blood and, and, and body parts mixed with mother's milk, again, to desecrate it, desecrate anything pure and good, dumping it on into the bathtub, and then they basically have sex in the blood. And everyone smears blood all of themselves and uh, just absolutely uh, defile each other. And then Paul Watson... Gets into it later in the article, and I'm going to come back. We're going to cover all of this, get into the history of it, and a lot more. 
spirit cooking developed by Alistair Crowley, urine, sperm, you name it. The ritual is performed. And again, they always call it art. But then they admit that it is an intimate spiritual ceremony. And the embedded video depicts bizarre nature of the ceremony. They mix all this garbage together. Then they paint on the walls about how to cut yourself and how to spread more blood. It's meant to symbolize the union between, and then it goes man and all this other garbage and the divine, which is representation of one of the prime maxims. As above, so below. Yeah, right. And then, this is just a gateway, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, to larger stuff. This is what she's publicly put out. Then she's got the party that's in the emails where she's telling him about the menu and all the deliciousnesses like she's talking to a connoisseur. Like, oh, would you like a Pinot Noir about from the Russian River or perhaps something from a little bit further north uh, in Oregon which has a little bit sweeter taste? I mean, what's your palate? And they just go through all the different deliciousnesses and then it ties into We're on the march. To, well, the Haiti and children. On the run. Stay with us. So we're three and a half, four days out from the election next Tuesday. They're saying Al-Qaeda is saying it's going to hit Texas, New York, and other areas. We know he's brought in Al-Qaeda slash ISIS. The new WikiLeaks show that Hillary's funded by Saudi Arabia and the very same people that are funding ISIS. After it began uh, getting exposed four years ago, Hillary then started saying, oh, we better not fund ISIS. But the whole time, they've basically been behind that. And then ISIS has been running around killing Christians in mass. This is all part of a larger program and goes to the mindset of these people. But I'm telling you, the reason this is so big is that he's being invited to private occult rituals, blood rituals. And Paul Watson's article on Infowars.com gets into the history of this and then connections to women in New York that the Clintons have defended who got in trouble, remember, illegally bringing in Haitian children. Now, remember, the Clintons are busy robbing 97% of the money from them, 94% 90, of the money from them. They're busy only giving 5% of the money that they actually give to charity is actually given to charity. The rest is just given back to themselves. It is mind-blowing how evil they are, and they're practicing all of this out in front of everyone. You see, the lesser magic is that they have to be the children's advocate while they're the ones that are hurting the children. Just like in the movie Dragnet, they're throwing it in your face, where the big televangelist preacher behind the scenes runs the pagans. And I want to be clear, folks. Pagans, when you talk about pagans, could mean any other religion. It could mean Buddhist, or it could mean, you know, anything. That's not what we're talking about here because they always make these groups look okay by saying, hey, Christians say all these different groups are bad or evil or you're going to hell. The point is, is you could argue that all day. This is classic Satanism. This is as bona fide Satanism as you're ever going to get. Period. And that's what these people are into and that's what they're engaged in and it's truly disgusting. And Podesta is in it up to his eyeballs, and more is going to come out. That's why he said, you're all going to prison. Assange says, information's coming out where there's no way you'll get away with it. Well, folks don't care if she sells our secrets to China and Russia. People supposedly don't care if she lies to Congress and the FBI. People don't care if she commits run-of-the-mill hardcore crimes. But what if, it's, what if it's Satanism? What if it's disappeared children? What if it's kids on the menu? Drip, drip, drip. It gets worse by the day. We're now four days out. Three and change, technically. And the hammer, drip, now is getting stronger and stronger. Drums, drums, boom, 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 like thunder cracks now. What are they going to do? A false flag? A new Sandy Hook? Launch a new war? What are they going to do to stop Dark Heart? Again, everything with them is inversion. They learn how to speak backwards. They flip everything. She calls me a dark heart. Why does Hillary call me a dark heart and grab her heart? Because the, the evil entity that is in her, that's the religion she follows, absolutely wants to be able to spew green pea soup at me across the room and tell me that my mother's in hell. 
that Bill Clinton says, I practice voodoo. I think voodoo is wonderful. He wrote a book. Bill Clinton's book where he talks about it and how great it is. I had another copy of the book here. They actually said the name of the book and then I had it printed up. Oh, yes, My Life, The Early Years. Go read page 313. Go read 312. Go read some of the other pages about how wonderful and how beautiful the voodoo is. And again, what is voodoo? It's getting spirits to enter you. And how do you get a particularly powerful spirit to enter you that gives you all the knowledge to rule the world? That's what these rituals are. Want to go study it? Go ahead. Instead of just going, that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as uh, skull and bones. <clears throat> There's no such thing as, uh, I don't believe in the devil. It doesn't matter. The devil believes in you. You see all these New York trendies, all the liberals that say moms and dads are bad and they want to run your life? Telling you how much they love Baphomet and Aleister Crowley, who was the main modern practitioner of child sacrifice. And do you know how they sacrifice children? Let's just say it didn't like in your Hollywood movie where they just cut their little heart out. We have a lot of uh, children probably listening. I don't know if I should tell you in Aleister Crowley, Black Magic, how, how they kill a... About a three or four-year-old generally so they can really scream for mommy and be fully conscious of what happens. Would you like me to tell you? The kind of liberals that want to run your life? Would you like to know? Listener discretion advised, I'll go ahead and tell you the standard way of doing it. You know, maybe I don't even want to talk about it. <clears throat> Let's just say I'm not trendy. I want to help children and love children and build them up and see them have dreams and then grow old and have their own children. But they terrorize them for hours after having them locked up for days and scaring the living hell out of them. Then they'll have women come in and tell them it's all right and they're going back to mommy to build their hopes back up and take them up and take them down and take them up and take them down and then they fully horrify them even more and then they rape them and then they cut them all over their body like a bunch of vampires and come in and lap the blood for hours and hours off the crying, screaming uh, toddler. Or your five-year-old daughter if they get her out of the backyard, whatever they do. And they're going to run your country, and they're going to sell baby parts and keep fetuses alive. They're going to cross humans with animals, and they're going to put GMO everywhere, and they're going to force vaccinate your kids, and they're going to put fluoride in the water as a lesser magic to brain damage you and your family, and they're going to write books about it and brag about it. They're going to write Tragedy and Hope. They're going to write Eco-Science. They're going to write hundreds of other books, and they're going to rub it in in your face like German Chancellor wrote Men in Powers, a political retrospective. And in political retrospective, Helmut Schmidt said, we have our groves where we conduct our Faustian rituals in Germany, but my favorite place to conduct the rituals and then to decide our business is the Bohemian Grove. Now, obviously, a lot of people I know have gone to Bohemian Grove. They've been invited. It's fine. It's totally normal, 300 and say 60 days out of the year. But there's little break-off groups that do things. They have lesser magic to see if you're into it to induct you as a feeder group. You know, it's kind of like in college where, oh, we have sex with a goat. Then we just say a little satanic prayer, but it's all just to see if you'll do it. And then next, you're doing something different. Next, it's sex. And, and it's not, again, attacking, quote, homosexuals. It's that we'll see, we're going to have gay sex now. And then it's, you know what, we're going to go kill a homeless person. I mean, this is, this is what goes on, okay? And I understand that uh, most of you are just like I was, just a common fella. But then sometimes you just kind of fall into this stuff, don't you? And then you find out what's really going on in this world that we're not in Kansas anymore. So here's the big issue. We heard from our sources two days ago. The interview's on YouTube. Can we go to YouTube and just show the viewers? I believe it was... Uh, NYPD WikiLeaks or, or Wiener investigation, pedophilia, occult rituals, child abuse involving children's the headline. You can go to our YouTube channel, Alex Jones channel, with a billion views on that one channel. Just, just to point out, you know, for everybody, they make fun of us all day, but we're bigger than they are. And you can see it right there. 
where we had a guest on two days ago saying the NYPD, if they don't bring this information out, if the FBI doesn't, they're going to bring it out. NYPD, FBI found sex blackmail network on Wiener's computer. And then we pu published an article yesterday on Infowars.com. There it is. Breaking bombshell. NYPD blows whistle on new Hillary emails. Money laundering, sex crimes with children, child exploitation, pay-to-play perjury. And, of course, you get into it, it involves the occult. Because the occult always involves the abuse of children. Always. Psychologists and psychiatrists go, well, this serial killer believed he was doing it for demons, but you know, he's crazy. Okay, whatever. People that are involved in this always do it for the same reason. Folks that aren't from Christian cultures say they're doing it because demons told them to. That they'd get special treats if they did. And they make it all a big joke, all a big game, all a big fun thing for everybody to be involved in in the culture. And it gets worse and worse and worse. At Skull and Bones with juniors in, in elite families who are now 19, 20 years old, they have gay sex for bonding. They are anointed as knights of Lucifer. And then they are sworn servants of Eulogia, a goddess. And then they are born again in coffins and then baptized in a giant vat of human excrement while men urinate on them from a second-story balcony. And then one of their rituals got caught on tape where they were, quote, doing another mock sacrifice of a woman as she's screaming and running, and they're screaming, death equals death, devil equals death, 322. So we can pull it up from ABC News. Would you like me to? Oh, they're just having fun. Sure, when they turn Al-Qaeda and ISIS loose to kill hundreds of thousands of Christians and won't let Christians get out. It's all a big ritual. Larry Nichols has been telling you for years about the fixer that's now in the national news, that they would have to go out and mind her while she was at her rituals every month when she was first lady out in California. And then remember what the brain surgeon presidential candidate had to say, Ben Carson, whenever he said Hillary was an acolyte, was a protege. She met with him many times. They communicated on a daily basis via phone and, and letter. Hundreds of letters that are in the National Archives. They don't even hide this. With a man who pledged his book, Rules for Radicals, to Lucifer. And why would she go out of her way to represent people that brutally raped little girls into comas and the rest of it? Why would she make jokes? Why would Tim Kaine make jokes about horrible people he represented that killed kids and stuff? And, you know, say things like, well, I just felt so bad when he got convicted. I loved him so much. Hillary Clinton is a total and complete wanton, power-tripping, self-worshipping, devil worshiper. Secret service that work around her want away from her. They do not want to be near her. She acts like Linda Blair. She flops around on the ground. She spits at them. She hits them. She screams. She flips out. She trances out. She stinks. They start having nightmares. London Guardian, headline, the FBI believes she is the Antichrist incarnate. They fear she wants to destroy the earth. The FBI doesn't talk like that. They've been near the entity. She is an entity. Remember, I told you this a month ago. I told you it was going to come out in the WikiLeaks. Not because I even know what's in the WikiLeaks. I know what the government knows and what the FBI and the Secret Service knows, and they're scared. They're scared, and they should be. Because she wants to destroy the planet. She is a Satanist committed to evil. And the ultimate evil isn't just pouring blood on yourself and having lesbian orgies. And eating, you know, eating women's milk and sperm and a bunch of filth. At these 
at these b b b blood sex rituals that, you know, Podesta reportedly goes to. It's war, it's death, it's destruction, it's all a big stinking ritual. And she's not the only one into this stuff. Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite artist is this Austrian artist whose favorite thing is dead kids and car wrecks. So then he simulates like eight-year-old girls in Nazi uniforms and images of dead babies. And then Schwarzenegger, now this has been in journals, not widely published, but I mean, it's in art journals. I think it's cool. Him just all day just looking at uh, him going, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And it's a provocative, you know, eight-year-old girl laid out in a miniskirt in a Nazi outfit dead on a bed next to the image of a dead baby run over by a car. I mean, you know, it's like, oh, this is so wonderful. And, and I mean, people keep saying, man, where does Alice come up with this stuff? I didn't come up with it. I didn't come up with it. You understand that? I didn't come up with any of this. This is what they're doing. I'm not that good a fiction writer like Stephen King. This is real, folks. You think I just made up they're into the occult and devil worshippers and all this stuff, and now it's all coming out? You think I just make up that the fluoride causes IQ reduction? It's in the Harvard study. You think I just make up the NSA spying on you, tell you exactly how they're doing it, then it all comes out I'm right? I tell you, Hillary's falling down every 30 minutes. The Secret Service told us this. Secret Service actually like they're scared for their lives. That Jay-Z... Hanging out with this high priest lady that, that Podesta and, 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 and New York follow and worship. Oh, she supposedly just energizes them with all this holy power. I mean, this is so ridiculous. But, I mean, they have no power. You look at these empty nobodies. Oh, they got some money. Jay-Z looks like a five-year-old spoiled brat. If you just tuned in, folks, the word is, I've been telling you this for about a month, and I've been saying it every day, haven't I, that if, 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 if you, all of you that are signed on to Hillary are going to get a chance to see who you really love and to keep defending it. It's like a test by God. We're going to skip this break. It's a test by God right now to see how it's all being revealed to you, everything. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And by successive approximation, you say, I don't care about that. I don't care about this. Remember we kept saying years ago, and it got picked up as a tagline on the Internet, that Hillary could barbecue children on the White House lawn and eat them in front of you and you wouldn't care. And then it came out, they are selling body parts and they are keeping little babies alive till they harvest them. And the people, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And they are, they did fund the Rwanda massacre and they did steal 90 plus percent of the money uh, for the little Haitian kids. And you say, why be so horrible? Because it's about betrayal. It's about evil. It's about doing bad things. It's about being so strong, you see how far you can push yourself all the way to the edge. This is, this is their, their thinking. When really all you're doing is destroying the buffers and the barriers God put in you so you couldn't be overwritten spiritually and overtaken and have your free will taken until these people, you look at Hillary, this tottering nobody who can hardly walk half the time and who looks totally unhappy except when she's animated wanting power. Exactly like the Faustian legend that's based in truth. Uh, he could have gotten out of the box anytime. He could have gotten his soul back. He could have, but he, he just was manipulated and he was so powerless by the end, he finally learns the truth, but still goes with the devil. So we have several of these reports to go over, but that's why, that's why CNN called her a goddess and said, worship her. Remember about six months ago, they said, she is a goddess that worship. Oh, oh, oh. And her in a white outfit, again, a total joke. The purity of her, this rotten, evil, demonic creature, being worshipped as the goddess of light. You see, and they, that's why they target women. They target God's great creation of man and women. Made in God's image, and they attack our union and they attack our, our procreation, and they attack us because, because that's the real force of this universe that, that God manifests, and the enlightenment, and the free will, and the beauty, as if those of us that haven't studied the New World Order don't know what the enemy's up to and all their cosmologies. They are such stunted, unhappy people. I was reading about some of the folks that are involved with this particular high priestess, and they've got, like Lady Gaga, she has to have a woman 
in a chair in her room at night. She's afraid of demons that come and torture her and possess her. And Lady Gaga is so scared that she, like a little girl, has to have someone with her at all times. This is the fear you live in. This is what you've given yourselves over to. This is what they bombard us with. This is the world they want to manifest. And then they all go and they taste the blood off of a dead body covered in blood. But, oh, it's performance art. It's not real. Just like a pedophile first gets a kid to pet a toy, to pet a doll, and then they pet them, and then they test them, and then a few months later they do it again, they do it again, they do it again until they've got you where they want you. It's training wheels. Training wheels. Those are their public rituals they do. Podesta goes to the private ones and hears about the menu. The menu. The menu. So, we've got a bunch of these clips. Which one should we go to first? We got Ben Carson coming out saying she pledged herself to Saul Alinsky, who was an admitted admirer and follower of Lucifer. That was her mentor. We've got Larry Nichols saying she's in the occult. We have Bill Clinton in his own book saying he's into voodoo and it's beautiful and wonderful. We've got all the evidence mounting and building, and the Republicans are involved in this stuff as well. The Democrats tend to get into Crowley and voodoo. The Republicans are into Germanic versions of this. It's like a Germanic mix with, with the very same old Mr. Eastern mysticism, mystery religion, Babylon stuff. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's different, different churches of the same religion, different flavors of the same, same garbage. And now that I know so much about this, 30 years later, 30 years later now, I know that they tried to recruit me basically into three different branches of this crap because there's other branches too. I mean, folks, it runs towns. It runs cities. It's the real big religion of America. Look at Hollywood. Look what goes on. And I've been high up in Hollywood, folks, and so many people just stay in their houses and just go, you're absolutely right, Alex, Satanism. And it is just going on rampant, folks. Because people want power. They want to do illegal things. They want to tie you in by the corruption of the illegality that goes on at those events. We're four days out from the election, three and a half days out from the election, and what else is going to come out? And if it comes out that there's little missing kids, because that's that's connected into this whole investigation in New York, is missing kids, people that bring kids in from Haiti that have come up missing, that the Clintons have protected. I mean, hundreds of kids. Go look it up. It's in Paul Watson's article. And, and this is what we're being told by law enforcement, that stuff so frightening, grown men are completely panicked and, and, and willing to do anything now to stop Hillary. That, that's in the London Guardian. They say... They believe she's the Antichrist, wants to destroy the earth, and they're ready to do anything. Because they know, folks, we're going to openly put somebody like this in. That's the London Guardian right now. That's GrudgeReport.com right now. Here's Larry Nichols. He said this probably 50 times on the show in the last 20 years. Here it is. I'll tell you a couple of stories about fraud. The Bohemian Club, the, as you say, the Bohemian Club, that's where all those rich Republicans go out and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. I know nothing about the Bohemian Grove with Bill. I know about once a month, Hillary would go out to Los Angeles. And she did it so regular that it became a bit of an issue trying to, why is she always going? And Bill told me that she was going out there, she and a group of women, and she would be a part of a witch's church. And, uh, man, I, when Bill told me that, you could have hit me with a baseball bat. I tried to point out to him, he realized what had happened if that got out. Of course, my job is to make sure it didn't get out. Now, I don't know today if Hillary still partakes in 
the witch ritual. I, I don't know that I even know what the ritual was. But for the better part of many years, Hillary would go quite often, whether it was regularly once a month or maybe once every couple of months, she would go out on a weekend simply to be a part of it. That's part of a documentary we shot earlier this year. In fact, we need to take that clip and put that out so Drudge and others obviously are going to want that because the dam's coming down, folks. And again, I want to be clear. I'm not saying everybody in these emails that's involved in this stuff knows the full import of what's going on, even the little front lady high priest woman. But what's in these emails, law enforcement is saying, is classic code word. When they're talking about what's on the menu. And hell, it's bad enough. Sperm, blood, urine, mother's milk all mixed together with effigies of babies. I haven't shown this for TV viewers and radio listeners because I already watched a couple times. And just watching these creepy people hob walk around and think the women are all sexied up. They're all getting ready to, you know, I don't know for damn sure that's what they're doing. They have a big sex orgy afterwards. And um, it is, it's just wild. It is wild as it gets. And that's... Who these people are, folks, they are bad, bad, bad. We'll be back. Oh, I'll be honest with you, I'm in way over my head. And the whole planet is without Christ. And I'm not talking about the fake churches, but I'm talking about in my life experiencing real good and evil. Jesus Christ is real. God is real. The God of the Old Testament, the New Testament is real. Um, Yeshua, Jehovah, it's, it, it's God. And, and, and you can have all these names, and the churches can fight over names, and what day of the week the... Sabbath is, look, it's a relationship in your heart. You know God from the devil. God wants to give you green fields and healthy kids and beautiful sunsets and life and honor and strength, but will challenge you. The devil's a bunch of weird rich people raping little kids, man. Grabbing them out of their yards, scaring the living hell out of them, sucking their youth out of them, sucking their soul out, turning them into little wren fields. Because most of the kids, they just turn into little... Brain damage. You've been on kids that have been raped a bunch, and, and they're like, they're, they're screwed up for life. There's something missing in them. They're dream stealers. Let me tell you something. Hollywood's here to steal your dreams. South by Southwest is satanic. It, it, it's, and I, when I say satanic, I mean corporately. It's, it's all about all these hopeless people coming to try to make money and a, a gold rush. The only gold rush is the is the horrible creatures that that, that, that sit above it. And, and, I, and I, because I'm, I'm trying to explain, Satanism is only one crude aspect, or the ancient rites of Satanism is only one crude aspect. War is the great god of this. War you start. And going back into ancient times, black uniforms, I'm not saying you're bad if you're wearing a black uniform, but in history, people didn't wear black uniforms, folks, unless you were committed to Satan, Shaitan, Saturn. And, 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 and again, the average person doesn't even know that this stuff's taken over our whole society. They don't even realize how connected it's gotten to everything. Now, I haven't even told you all the big guests we have today because I have just been blown away by what I already knew was coming because I already knew from other sources separate from WikiLeaks and now those sources have come right out and said, oh, yes, Alex, the game is so close. We're so freaked out. Obviously, the U.S. government released it all, not the Russians, okay? Colonel Shavers heard laughing. He goes, Alex, come on. You know this is the U.S. government. I go, are you sure? He goes, well, of course I'm sure. He's the guy who's leaked stuff before. I'm not saying he's one of the sources, but he basically told you it's the Marines and the Army. And I knew the Marines were involved, but uh, <laughs> I mean, just, you know, uh, imagine the people looking at all this stuff and actually knowing what the Democrats are into. And by the way, the Democrats are far worse than the Republicans. They are basically 90% taken over at the highest levels by people doing the worst stuff you can imagine. Republicans, it's about 30%. It got up to about 50% a few years ago, but this culling politically has really brought the pedophile devil worshiper number down uh, to a 25, 30% right now. Democrats is about 90%. And, man, once they get rid of that last percent and once they get full control of everything, they're coming after us, folks, because they want to have their way with us. And let me just give you the good news, Democrats. I know you're not giving us quarter. 
I understand that. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> you like bullying little kids, do you? you? Yeah, you think they're real scared of you. You think we're scared of you? You think I am? Think I'm scared of you? I'm scared of you. I'm scared of not running over you, and we're going to. We're going to get you. You better believe that and bet your bottom dollar. And there's nothing you can do that's going to stop us, and you know it. You know metaphysically we've already got our hands around your little neck. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. Those that would hurt the children, better they tie a millstone around their neck and cast themselves into the deepest sea. Because it's not a fiery grave you'll go to, but one where you're with your kind forever. And if that isn't hell, I don't know what is. Well, I only say this because it's a bellwether of how they're collapsing all over the internet, all over Twitter, all over Reddit, all over YouTube. It's everywhere. People saying, Alex Jones has been proven right. Oh my gosh, everything he keeps saying keeps coming out. Days after he talks about it, what in the world's going on? You know, Does he have access to WikiLeaks before anybody else? No, I don't. I do have sources, but I've also studied these people. And I know that the Secret Service at FBI and others told me that the Clintons and Obama are involved in occultic activity. And they made jokes out of it. And he smelled himself and says, do I smell like sulfur? But why did they respond to that? Not because they thought it was discrediting, but because it scares them. They go after whatever is the strongest point, like they're the authority to psychologically then make us stop covering it. Oh, we got attacked. We better stop covering it. Well, WikiLeaks has released it, and as Assange said, what he's releasing will send Hillary to jail. He says it's the worst thing it can be. NYPD told Doug Hagman, who is popping in later today, he was on two days ago telling you this. We wrote articles about it, Infowars.com. WikiLeaks, sex crimes, blackmail, child abuse, and how you do it is via rituals, sex parties. Then the parties involve blood of children. Then the parties involve... That's how they do it, by successive approximation. That's how you're brought into a cult. I came within inches of getting into the mid-level of this. I've told people about this 20 years. I experienced it. Or, oh my, I can't believe you know, this incredibly hot girl wants to date me when I'm 14 years old. You know, so she's three years older than me. She, well, no. No, they wanted me in their cult. And then it happened repeatedly. It happened to other people I knew. And then bad stuff, people would die. You name it, ladies and gentlemen. And the richer the area you get close to. I mean, my dad owned dental offices and a leasing supply company, and I thought he was a rich guy, and he had a big ranch. He was one of the poorest people in the, in the neighborhood. And, again, you're right next to this, going to church, having no idea what's going on right next to you. That's what's happened. The WikiLeaks have come out with Podesta going to rituals where they drink blood and urine, and semen, and bathomet, and, 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 and have effigies of children that they pour blood on. And they cut themselves. And they say it's Aleister Crowley, the worst black magic out there. Now, he was coming on to talk about the waterfront. We're going to him in just a moment. We're loaded with guests today. We have Dr. Steve Pachenik, part two on the soft coup. Doug Hagman, the Northeast Intelligence Network, that before it was in the news, said it's going to come out, abuse of children, you name it. That's tied into Haiti, missing kids, you name it. Uh, that's going to confirm. See, a pretty good source, huh? William Benny, former head of the National Security Agency, technical director. He's coming on. So all these top folks, including British ambassadors, say the leak is from U.S. intelligence. John Rappaport right now. Uh, again, uh, Roger Stone. I'm going to host the fourth hour today. So again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a historic time to be alive uh, I have just been absolutely poleaxed by this because I knew it was coming out, but to know they're involved in all this and to know it's even worse and to know that the word is WikiLeaks is going to release even more and to watch how the mainstream media has lockstepped itself to this is unprecedented. Now, we're going to go to Rappaport to talk about this for two brief segments. We've got a lot of guests today, but first, we need you to go to InfoWarsStore.com because I'm so bad about not plugging it out because I'm just covering news here and buy the products. We have got amazing products there. Uh, we have the new hair and skin formula and nail formula. 
that is the very best out there. Out of the gates discounted, nineteen ninety five. Other competitors, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. We showed you yesterday with bottles of the competitors that doesn't even have as much as ours does, and it's twice or three times more. This is insane. Everybody should get this. Bio PCA InfoWarsLife dot com. Call toll free 888-253-3139. Uh, they just didn't take this special down, so I'm doing it one more day. It's supposed to be gone. You can take advantage of this. 30 40% off on super high quality storable food. These monsters want to control you by making you dependent. It's time to become independent. We have the best storable food out there. It ends, I guess, at midnight tonight. That's InfoWarsStore.com. Also ending tonight, 30% off the ProPure G2 King Gravity Water System. I wouldn't drink the water this government puts out, folks. They're all about adulterating you covertly. It's lesser magic. Everything they do is a ritual. I'm not the one that believes in this. They do. So InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. Uh, I just you know, had him on about the election and what he predicts, and, you know, they're going to try to cause riots if, if, if Trump wins, which all the polls show he should. Uh, even though they're adding many more Democrats to the sampling, he's still now winning and gaining as more comes out. I want to get into that with Rappaport in this brief interview today, and he's joining us more next week for a full hour. When we broadcast 52 hours live starting Monday at 11 a.m., but he's not just a political analyst and writer and researcher for some of the biggest publications in the country. He also has written on these cosmologies that, that humans can envision and build incredible things, but evil people use this innate power, or made in the image of God, towards very twisted aims. And what do you make, uh, John, from nomorefakenews.com about the fact that it's all coming out, the occultism that uh, they're involved in, the, the nastiest type uh, the, I mean, Crowley said sacrifice children. That was his big thing, as you know. You're, you're an expert, I know, on this. You've written books on the subject. We've never really had you on about that. What does this signify? It signifies, first of all, total bankruptcy of character. It means that these people are at the bottom of the swamp. That's where they live. That's where they think. That's where they plan. The idea of ritual, which of course you've covered for many years, starting with Bohemian Grove. Why? What's that all about? It's saying, I have no common sense, I have no rationality, I have no logic, I have no vision of my own. I have to participate in some incredibly demeaning, ridiculous, insane thing in order to hypnotize myself into thinking that I have some kind of power. That's what all these people are doing. And they're desperate to search for anything that some lunatic like Crowley, you know, proposed. Well, drinking blood, sacrificing animals, sacrificing children. This is the way to power. It's sheer psychopath insanity. And the fact that these people are thinking about it, planning it, participating in it, means only one thing. That's all they've got. They've got nothing else, and they want to drag everybody else they can down into that pit. And they want to blackmail them if they refuse to be drowned in that pit along with them. That's all they've got. They have nothing else. That's what we're talking about here, that level of insanity. John, I love your truth. The way you just, it is such a pleasure to just, because I'm, I'm desperately trying to, to crystallize this for people it upsets me so much today that i almost couldn't come on air because I, they, they, you're right they're so fallen they're so twisted they want to hurt innocence they hate god's creation they want to bring us down and and the sad thing is they get people to join them who just want power not realizing innately being good is the true stairway to heaven and unlimited connection to the infinite exactly i mean power is good is those things are connected, you know, they're connected for anybody with a few working brain cells. These people are at the opposite end of the spectrum. That's what we have to realize. That's what your listeners, your viewers, that's what everybody has to understand. All I wonder the why they've always been so attracted to me. And I know they go after a lot of other people. They see their up and comers, but they were always after me when I was a kid. And, and, and I guess I just want to recruit people they see as, uh, that are strong and aggressive. Yeah, because they feel like they can turn you to their purposes. And it's pure destruction, you see. When you erase all the embroidery and so forth, what these people are about is destruction. 
you can't make any sense out of it if you're trying to make sense because there isn't any sense. You know, do you want to go out and blow up a city? No. Do you want to go out and kill thousands of people? Of course not. But these people do. That's all they've got to say it again is pure destruction. Look at the Al-Qaeda footage that, that uh, was released to us exclusively in WorldNet Daily. And I said, World and Daily could have it. It was just so over the top. Plus, and of course, he had more gravitas to cover it than I did because he had the experts and, and had actually broken it. And it was Al-Qaeda, ISIS, cutting up dead soldiers and making people eat it before they kill them in a ritual to send them to hell. And, and I mean, how, that is pure Satanism. Yeah. It's, it's just, you know, the, the, the lowest form of insanity. It's not human. It's totally inhuman. Why does this keep manifesting? And, and, and what do you think of it now coming out via WikiLeaks that Podesta is involved with a menu of blood and semen and, and placenta? It doesn't really surprise me, Alex, that these people live where they live. They live right in that swamp. That's where they are. Because it's like you said, you get drawn into a cult by degrees. And then you discover the further you get into it that it's all about destruction. That's all it is. And at the heart of it are the most evil people who take pleasure from destroying other people. That's what they want to see. They want to see what it looks like for a person who is free, independent, and powerful to be destroyed by degrees. That is what gives them pleasure. Now... People don't believe this because they can't conceive of it. But once you brush up against it, once you feel that or see that in action, then you understand. These people have gone over to the dark side completely because they were desperate. They had nothing else. They couldn't find any shred of creativity or logic or anything within themselves. And so they sacrificed themselves to become what they thought. Powerful. Was going to be. No more fake news dot com. Uh, what an amazing day to have John Rappaport on with us to be able to chime in because he, he is an expert on how these cults work and has written books on the subject. We'll be right back to get into the election overall, the talk of terror attacks, what happens if Trump wins. Former technical director of the National Security Agency who first said six months ago that the leaks aren't coming from the Russians, they're coming from the U.S. intelligence agencies, will be joining us to cover the latest on WikiLeaks and more. William Benning. We got John Rappaport with us for one more segment. He's we're setting it up, I know, for an hour next week. We do the 52-hour broadcast from Monday at 11 a.m. right through to the Wednesday at 3 p.m. This is the most historic time ever to be alive, folks. Major human crossroads. It is truly remarkable what we're witnessing. Dr. Steve Pachenik, Doug Hagman, Roger Stone. Doug Hagman was on two days ago and said the NYPD has sex crimes against kids, the occult. Uh, money laundering, uh, bribery, blackmail. That's what this is all about, is getting you blackmailed. Uh, John Rappaport, other points you'd like to cover in the limited time we have, this election. They're talking about terror attacks uh, coming, I guess, as a distraction. Uh, will the Soros groups activate if Trump does win, have civil unrest? Or are they planning to steal it from Trump, blow something up, say that we did it uh, as a way to bring in civil, civil uh, control? I mean, uh, clearly... This is the juncture point. This is the crossroads. Yeah, it is. Definitely Soros-funded uh, violence if uh, Trump wins, no question about it. Beware of early network projections of the winner on Tuesday night. Maybe not even so early. Anytime you see that projections from the networks, know that you're talking about Crimes, fraud, fakery, all of that. I've written about it extensively. Remember terms like Associated Press, NEP, Network, uh, National Election Pool, Edison Research, Matofsky. These are all elements that cook up a winner that the networks then project. Well, it's all over, folks. The winner is Hillary. That's it. Okay, we're done. We're waiting for concession speech. We're waiting for a uh, victory speech, but it's all over because, and you well, have to remember this, the media consider the election a media event, which they own. 
They own the debates. They own the primaries. They own uh, the interviews. They own the election. And meetings. WikiLeaks proves it's all rigged. So Trump's right to be saying that. He, uh, I would say he's going to win by a landslide going over all the evidence. So well, how do they counterman something like that? Well, you had Bev on finally, Bev Harris. I mean, she laid out how the gem system works and how they can rig it electronically and invisibly. But you could see something fairly close and then she pulls away. Okay, exit polls are showing now and this and that and so forth. We can now call Michigan for Hillary, et cetera, et cetera. And they just keep building this up to the point where they then declare a winner to make it look credible. He put up a good fight. Yes, indeed. Uh, it wasn't, uh, you know, a sweep that we thought it was going to be for Hillary. They bring in the pundits. Everybody starts talking. It's a done deal. Game over. That's it. That's what they want to convince you of. And when I wrote about the extensive vote fraud involved in Prop 37 in California in 2013, a GMO labeling ballot initiative, what I found was there were, you know, Two, three million votes that were uncounted in California when they projected that Prop 37 had lost. They just perpetrate this fraud time after time after time. Beware of the projections from the networks of the winners. Look between the lines. Look at what they're doing and how they're shaping this as a story. The media are telling a story. They believe they own the election because it's basically a media event. And they are all bought and sold and corrupted and so forth. So you know the story that they're going to tell. Well, John, uh, I know you've already agreed to do an hour during the 52-hour broadcast. If you'd like to host twice uh, as well, I really appreciate you. How do folks find out more about your amazing work? I know it's nomorefakenews.com. You also have some big blogs. Uh, uh, you're also just come to no more fake news .com. Everything is there. Everything is there. Do you agree with me in closing, though, that the good news is this is the animating contest and the explosion of awakening that's happened is scaring the establishment. Uh, it's like light is starting to come back into the world. Absolutely. No question about it. This movement, you've got to remember, is bigger than this election. It's bigger than Trump. It's bigger than any one person. It's everybody waking up to the fact that. We have been fooled, tricked, completely tricked, which is the strategy of the corrupt, is to trick the innocent. They bring darkness, and, not light. And we're taking it back. That's it. That's the story, what, and it keeps What is your going. gut prediction, I mean, or, or feeling? I mean, I, I think Trump's going to win. It's going to be so big, they're going to have trouble. I think they're going to try to stop him, and I think it's going to come out the day of the election that, uh, well, you know what goes with devil worship. So they want to go there. They're going to elect this, and then it's going to be released. Yeah. I don't know, Alex. I'm 50-50 on this. They're going to try to rig it every way they can. Well, but, 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 I mean, what, what Assange has said, though, is if she gets elected, that's fine, because what comes out will destroy her. So uh, yeah. I almost want to see the Democrats have it their way. The problem that's is, though, she may start a nuclear war to cover it up. We'll talk to you again next week. God bless you. We're now just three and a half days out. It's Friday. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. I'm intending to organize the crew to come in and do a limited two, three-hour broadcast that will be Internet only. Stations are welcome to pick it up and put it up on the satellite uh, sometime tomorrow evening. Too much is uh, breaking. Too much is happening right now. Now, the New York Times three days ago did a review of the high priestess, uh, and we're going to our guest, uh, of the cult that the head of the Democratic Party or the head of Hillary's campaign, Podesta, attends. We're on the menu. They have a blood, semen. Uh, mother's milk, and, and they conduct ceremonies and then sacrifice children in effigy. At least that's what it appears. So we have the videos. I was told by our NYPD source and told you this two days ago that it was going to come out that it was basically a big blackmail operation. This is in the new WikiLeaks, and we're not saying that actual child sacrifice is happening here, but this is real Satanism. And she's even done a Reddit, uh, Ask Me Anything, and Buckley can pop in and tell you about the high priestess, where she said, oh, if it's public, it's not a ritual, but if it's private, it is. And that's obviously what I told you last hour before I was aware of that. That's how they do it. It's how they sell this occult stuff to the public. But this is what Assange just says is coming out. And reportedly, stuff even wilder than this is coming out. So, Buckley, before we go to William Benny uh, with, with big bombshells on WikiLeaks and more, he's been vindicated saying that uh, this was a U.S. intelligence leak. That's now coming out everywhere. Uh, but uh, real fast, Buckley, uh, getting into that Reddit point, 
from an Ask Me Anything with this lady and tell us about her. Exactly. So uh, basically, there's lots of uh, different celebrities that are, you know, talk about the Illuminati like Jay-Z and um, some of the other celebrities that sort of hint at it with the imagery inside of their videos, etc. And the question is, is this always just some sort of playful take on on spiritualism and, and just kind of a, a jokey kind of thing that's a little bit scary and spooky like Halloween? Or is it real? And so when pressed by the reality of it, they're always going to fall back on, okay, no, it's art we're just expressing ourselves in a certain way that it's that's you know the darkness in our souls the yin and the yang the, sh the shadow etc but however here is a is a really descriptive point um uh mrs abramovich did a a reddit ask me anything and in that ama uh somebody said marina what do you see the occult having within contemporary art? Can magic be made, not simply appropriated slash performed? And this was her answer. Everything depends on which context you are doing what you are doing. If you are doing the occult magic in the context of art or in a gallery, then it is art. If you are doing it in a different context, in spiritual circles or private houses or on TV shows, it is not art. The intention, the context for what is made and where it is made defines what is art or what is not. So essentially, what she's doing right here is she is professing the fact that she is literally buying into this demonology and this idea of using power, occultic power, to subjugate people and torture people for their own means and for their own ascension into power over people that's right and uh, buckley himself's an expert on this and we ought to get him to come in and interview about it someday thank you so much buckley now uh, that's uh, one of our top researchers buckley hammond been here at infowars off and on for 20 years now william benny joins us again we don't normally cover topics like this i'm not i'm here as a sociologist and anthropologist looking at how they control political circles just like a local gang will have you go rob a liquor store and shoot the clerk become a made member so they have dirt on you but we've known from WikiLeaks and we've known from other sources, law enforcement, that really bad stuff with kids is coming out, the occult, you name it. This has now been released. This is, this is a satanic ritual, Aleister Crowley, secret rituals going on with the head of her campaign. I have Bill Clinton in his own book. We're going to go over this after William Benny leaves us. Here's the Washington book, Post uh, and CNN. Book says Hillary talked to the dead. Uh, it goes on to say that Bill Clinton practices voodoo. In his own words, he thinks it's beautiful and wonderful to have evil and good spirits enter him. This is the new article on Infowars.com. Flashback. Occultic Hillary summons the dead, refuses to speak to Christ. This is a new article by Kit Daniels. You cannot make this up. Top story on Drudge. The FBI, quote, says they believe she's pure evil, quote, the Antichrist. This is it. This is the Guardian. Now, now William Benny's ben, a scientist, a mathematician, top code breaker living, former technical director of the NSA. We, we don't cover stuff like this. He doesn't cover stuff like this. But we're covering the contents of what's in the 650,000 emails that were clearly to frame people. That's coming out. I have to tell you, our sources of the government have been so on target. Um, Doug Hagman's coming on a little bit later with the Northeast Intelligence Network. He has his NYPD sources. He, he said a lot of this on air. He didn't want to say the Satanism on air. I talked to him off air because it was so shocking. But he said crimes against children, stuff just unspeakable. The police, look, our government's not perfect. But imagine the stuff Hillary's done is so bad. They admit there's a total mutiny in the FBI. So William Benny hinted at this six months ago. He's been clear the last few months. He's been SWAT team rated before for just talking to Congress. But we now have the former British ambassador coming out two days ago saying it's the U.S. government leaking it. Uh, we have members of Congress saying that. Benny was the first to say it. Assange has come out uh, in an interview uh, conducted by the University of Dartmouth and said the Russians have nothing to do with it. So... They're trying to deflect away from the, what's happening in the, in the WikiLeaks and in other documents, saying it's the Russians. Clearly, it's not. William Benny, uh, you know, helped bring down the Soviet Union and, and, and was equivalent to a multi-star general heading up the NSA. He's not a Russian agent. I'm not a Russian agent. Uh, we're just patriots telling the truth. So, Mr. Benny, uh, you know, it's bizarre to get into all this, but can you speak to, before we get into what other WikiLeaks may be coming out, how you knew early on or, or sensed, or I guess had sources, that this was U.S. intelligence. Uh, but separately, I mean, the, the, what's already come out is so damning. And Assange says what's coming out next is even worse. The, what do you want to tackle first, sir? Uh, well, uh, it's good to be with you again, Alex. Uh, uh, but I would say uh, the thing that kept me off was the fact that uh, 
The intelligence community was not coming out and saying exactly who did it because they've got control of the entire network. Now, when you do that, anything passing across the network, you know where it comes from and where it goes to. So there's no excuse for them not knowing. So that gave me the clue that right away it was not somebody passing things across the net or hacking in. It, it was somebody inside who had the data and took it out and then passed it on to WikiLeaks. That was, that was the basic clue to me. They've got to be panicking because the word is new leaks are coming out every day as the government really, I guess, in mass. In the beginning, a patriot's a pretty scarce man, but in time when his cause succeeds, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. It was really hard to be a William Benny or you know, a, a Mr. Drake or others. Now, as more go forward, as we realize how bad the Clintons are, it seems to be a tsunami's coming. Uh, what's your view on that? Uh, well, you know, I think uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson said it pretty well. Uh, he said, you know, we're heading to collapse. The only two things that have to happen as a government, uh, the only two things that have to happen is uh, centralized control and corruption. And uh, we've passed both those tests. You know, with the collection of data on everybody, that's centralized power and control. And with uh, all the corruption we're seeing now, and the WikiLeaks is one of the only sources we get, the, get a, that is exposing all of this corruption. But you're getting the sense now that some of the people internally, I know a lot of the people in, in the intelligence agencies and the, and, the, and the police are really good people. And they, they can't, this is sickening them. And so they're, they're starting to revolt internally, too. So, you know, I think, I think all of that is kind of summing up that we are now starting a revolt against this process of centralized control and corruption. I know you can't talk about classified matters, but it's well known that using the occult is a way to rope people into crimes so they can be blackmailed. Uh, yep. it's, it, uh, looking at this latest stuff coming out with, uh, you know, this top lady promoted by the New York Times, this, you know, this love by the Democrats and all these billionaires hanging out with the top, uh, you know, d d Democratic Party people in Aleister Crowley rituals. That's how they're described by them. Bathtubs of blood, uh, simulated human sacrifice. Uh, I don't want to mention the things on air that are going on here, but there's videos of it. Uh, and then reportedly, what's going to come out is even worse. Uh, just, just you know, as an expert on on criminal activity, I would say, I mean, formerly running the NSA, what do you make of this? Well, it's pretty consistent with the people. Uh, I mean, the KGB used to do this all the time, try to entice people into doing things that they would be uh, embarrassed about or would not want exposed. And then they'd use that against them as blackmail to convert them into the, an agent for them. Uh, I mean, this is pretty standard. I mean, this is what Bush, Cheney, Hayden, and Tennant did with some of the members of Congress. They, they roped them in, and then they were committed. And they did the same thing with the uh, FISA court senior judge in early 2002. So, so it's very similar. It's the same process. I mean, this, is, this, is a, this has gone on since, uh, you know, since humans have tried to organize into civilization. So it's a system of corruption. The average person doesn't understand corruption isn't just people become corrupt. The corruptors get you involved in the corruption to expand it. Yep, that's right. They, they'll try to get rope you in any way they can. Wow. Well, they were unable to rope you in, and you stopped them. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's good to know, and it's been somewhat declassified, that until you left and others left, they were not spying on the general public. They were doing it legally and lawfully, targeting governments, which is, which is your job. Now it's completely wide open. Oh, but we're not safe, though. ISIS, they tell us, could strike the election, and they've brought in all these unvetted refugees. Uh, it's just crazy. Well, I mean, they're setting us up again, aren't they? I mean, they're bringing in people who will attack us eventually, some of them anyway. And so all that does is perpetuate the fear, fear mongering on uh, terrorist attacks. That means they continue to get more money and get to do what they want to do and keep everybody else in the dark and just keep them uninformed and, uh, and uh, manipulable. You know, then now they're all, they all can be manipulated any way the central power wants. That's what that power gives them. Wow. Uh, I've been asking the question here. You know, you're the expert. What is it like for you to sit back? When you got persecuted, others did for just testifying secretly to Congress about illegal spying that you were trying to expose. Uh, folks being sent to jail, you name it, you've been vindicated. But I guess that's bittersweet because now the corruption's admitted, but nothing's being done about it. And WikiLeaks, this drip, drip uh, of just more and more bona fide crime and lying to Congress and covering up crimes and shelling out our secrets. And then the media sits there and plays dumb and tries to ignore the real meat and potatoes, but there's no way 
Hillary long term can get away with all this. No, I mean, even if she gets elected, this is still going to go on. I mean, WikiLeaks, I'm sure, is not going to end uh, and stop. And certainly, uh, it seems to me anyway that there are so many uh, un, un, well, unhappy is probably not a strong enough word, but uh, uh, sick people. Uh, what's people have gotten sick for what what's been going on corruption wise in our government? You know, for example, in the Department of Justice, uh, when they attempted to prosecute us, uh, they fabricated evidence. And they put it in an indictment, and we were going to be indicted, according to our lawyer. Uh, but uh, since I, you know, I, had, I caught them and had evidence of malicious prosecution, uh, why well, they dropped it and ran. But the point is, they fabricated the evidence, and and someone in the DOJ felt so bad about it, they sent us a copy of their draft indictment. So we've got all that as evidence of what they're doing. I mean, it's no longer, as I keep saying now, it's, it's no longer a Department of Justice. It's a Department of Just Us. I'm kind of seen, and I'm talking about myself, but I'm in the middle of the story, so I have to, as, as like a bellwether of, of being this radical, but, but as everything we've talked about and our guests have talked about, because our guests are the big secret of the show, that's really what InfoWars is, not, not so much Alex Jones. And as everything we've talked about comes out exactly as we said, our credibility is just exploding right now. There's a big meme on the internet that, wow, Alex Jones was right, but, but I just want to be clear. I wasn't right. You were right. Drudge was right. Uh, you know, Colonel Schaefer was right. Cy Hirsch was right. I mean, I have all these major heavy hitters that are the top journalists, the top experts on, and they're all basically saying the same thing. So the American people keep saying, give us a better government. Our government's what's bad. But really, most people in the government have gone public and said no, and the American people are too busy watching football games. So, you know, there's always this demonize the government. And sure, it's too big, it's out of control, but isn't it the people now? It's their turn to do something because we've seen incredible heroism by people out there doing the right thing to get us the truth. Yeah, I, uh, and uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank you, Alex, because you're one of the very few people in, in media who will carry these kinds of conversations. I mean, the mainstream media will not touch uh, anything national security uh, related. And they won't, of course, they'll cover up and they won't touch anything that's detrimental to the Democrats. So or then they'll attack the Republicans. So that's their that's their mantra. That's their whole operational process. But uh, but fortunately, we have uh, you and uh, some others in the in the uh, media and radio and TV who will who will air this kind of information. So that people have a chance well, and, to and, and also Oliver Stone did a great job. You were the, yes, you know, a top technical advisor. Film is incredible. Uh, Snowden, and, and we're all in this together. Clearly, sir, they're coming after the Internet. We've heard a lot about Internet kill switches. I know you can't get into it, but if anybody knows about it, it'd be you. They admit since you left, Obama has put these control systems in to kind of force feed down websites messages they want and kind of commandeer the web more than killing the web. A, can you kill the web? And B, can you speak to that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's possible to, like, uh, shut off switches and things like that. Uh, and servers that uh, manage the web operations, uh, <clears throat> they certainly can do that because they've got implants in, you know, uh, the last slide in Snowden's material said they had 50,000 implants in the worldwide network. Now, that means software and hardware and implanted combinations of things like that implanted in the switches and servers that run the network worldwide. So, uh, you know, if they, if they have a little instruction in there that says close down the switch or close down the server, they could send that out in a broadcast way and shut down the whole network. And that's why I, I think that's the strongest revelation of Snowden in the film. You learn they put this into the entire grid. What if AI malfunctioned or what if what if a foreign state or hackers or an insane person got in control of those switches? I mean, it sounds like they've built in something that is just incredibly dangerous. Uh, yes, that's another uh, short-sighted thing they did. Um, it's a matter of, uh, uh, you know, they, again, I keep saying they have no monopoly on smart people. But, you know, there's a lot of people around the world can figure out these things or detect weaknesses or also find, uh, you know, uh, uh, problems in the software that they've implanted and, and manipulate that software. That's not that's not un unquestionable. I mean, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a process of having smart people look at software and, and figure out how to do it. And once they do, uh, the whole network is vulnerable. Boy, it's almost like the devil runs things or something. I tell you, this is really bad. Uh, unfortunately, the technology makes all this possible, too.
and they haven't really figured out a smart way of monitoring everything and stopping it. You know, we, uh, you know, uh, Dr. John Taggart and I, back in uh, 90, 1991 or 92, we, we had proposed a way that would be able to stop this kind of stuff. And that was to, uh, we proposed to NSA internally that we would, uh, we would set up a, a set of software and implant it in all the network logs worldwide for the NSA network and be able to monitor everybody on the network, what they did as they did it, and then be able to, to stop them if they're doing something wrong or, you know, uh, prevent things from happening. So it was a matter of knowing everything that was happening. In the Stay there. Break this down. We've got a break, sir. Come back and explain this to us. And we'll be right back. But the problem is it works. They didn't want that. They want problems. That's right. The United States is now run by the TPP, all these big multinational agreements. We really are a captured country. And the establishment hopes that it's so over the top what they've done. The power grab is so big. The global government they're building is so out of control that they just ignore the fact that it's being constructed until it's too late and then you just roll over the opposition because no real opposition ever formed. And the last time William Benny was on, I said, what's their main goal? And he said, global corporate government. That's why this is international. That's why it scoops up all the data. And he was getting into a system they were developing that was constitutional, that was specifically targeting, but they didn't want it. Please continue. Uh, where did I leave off, Alex? Help me here. <laughs> you were just getting into how you guys had developed a system that did oh, violate oh, yeah. people's yeah. rights, okay. but yeah. You know, I'm right with you now. Okay, yeah, and uh, this was in 1991 or 92. Uh, what, what we had proposed internally in NSA was we would develop all the software to do this and, and be able to monitor all the programs, all the, all the productivity of each and every program in the, in the world and what people on their worldwide network were doing uh, and be able to do calculations like return on investment and, you know, uh, things like that so we could monitor uh, the success or failure of any of the programs and things like that. So. The first, uh, we had two groups of oppositions internally in NSA. The first group were the analysts. You know, they said, uh, "You mean you're going to monitor everything I'm doing on the network?" And uh, we said, "Yes." And uh, said, "You'll be, you'll be able to say I'm not smart here or there, and I need training here or there." And I, we said, "Yes." And we thought that'd be a good thing to do. And they said, uh, uh, "I don't want you monitoring me. You mind your business, do your job. I'll do mine." Uh, and the second group uh, were were the managers of NSA, and they said. You mean to tell me that you'll have uh, knowledge of all the return on investment of every program we're running, and they'll know the status and uh, success or failure of every program and its development as it progresses? At least we said yes. And uh, they also know how we're spending money and moving it around internally in NSA? We said yes. <laughs> and, you know, they'll also see all the contractors and how they uh, manipulate or use uh, contractors to help uh, develop the, the proposals and, and all of that. So that, I mean, contractors in, in general write the proposals for NSA to issue contracts to them. So it's like, a, it's like a, an incestuous relationship. Sure, so the big enchilada here is the NSA can spy on everybody but themselves, and it's exactly. not spying <laughs> when you're the top spy agency to make sure you've not been penetrated, to make yep. sure the networks are working, and to watch everybody. I would expect at the NSA, I better be spied on, but instead, the watchers are the only group that doesn't get watched. That sounds insane. Yeah, well, I... The reason they did that is because they didn't want Congress, and they said this, they didn't want Congress to know all this stuff. I mean, because after all, they might cancel our programs, you know? And so now they basically have taken uh, over, and they have uh, just, wow, that's incredible. Yeah, our, our, our proposal lasted uh, just a month and a half. We had barely, barely a chance to express the, uh, the proposal, and it was killed. So, but that's why Snowden could take all the material that he did, and they didn't even know any, anything. But, well, you've made that point. This this makes you know? it so easy to penetrate because they've done this. Yeah, right. We've only got a minute left. I want to thank you for your time. I know a film's coming out in uh, very very soon. Uh, a good American dot org. This documentary that you're in. Not you're not just Hollywood film. I want to have you back up for that uh, in the last minute. Any other points you'd like to make, sir? No, except that uh, this uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson had it right. I mean, he was a true visionary. He saw how, I mean, he just understood how people operated, I guess, was the key. He did. He wrote our Declaration and, of Independence. He, he basically founded the country. People think it's George Washington. It was Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, I mean, he, he, uh, he uh, basically said, you know, humans do this. They're, we're now once we're formed as a government, we're heading toward collapse. And the only two things that have to happen, you know, are a centralized power, which they now have, and corruption, which we are clearly seeing in these emails from WikiLeaks. But the good news is balance is coming into things. Nature abhors a vacuum, and the truth is coming out. So the corrupt establishment is in full panic mode, and good folks in government are helping and leaking the info, and the new media is pushing it. So 
Uh, wow, what a time to be alive. Thank you so much, William Benny. Have a great weekend. Right, thank you. Wow, that is a true patriot right there, a goodamerican.org. We'll be back. Don't forget, InfoWarsStore.com. We need your support, folks. Didn't plug that whole hour. That's how we find ourselves. A lot of big specials. One more day on the storable food. 30 to 40% off. I want to be very specific on this. And the Inquirer said they'll just go wherever the truth is. If Russia hacks some of this stuff, that's fine. Because justice be done, may the heavens fall. It's, that's what foreign governments do. Hillary committing all these crimes, that's the issue. But we're not Russian agents if we cover it. But if you listen to what WikiLeaks said, we didn't get this from the Russians. And most of the stuff we know is coming from U.S. intelligence agencies. But Radar Online, that's the National Enquirer, says, new security breach, proof Russia hacked Hillary and Uma's emails given to U.S. enemies. So the issue is the FBI's come out and said, we don't believe Trump is working for the Russians. We don't believe that this latest DNC stuff is the Russians. But five different agencies, five different countries have gotten into this. So that's basically what that's saying and what that's uh, getting into. But it just all becomes a larger distraction from the fact that we have them in the earlier emails the last month, three different data dumps at least that I've seen, where they're saying, we got to cover this up. Oh, this is so illegal. You know, we've been caught. Let's cover it up. Let's, let's clean it up right now. That is massive. That's lying to Congress, the FBI, the American people. Obama's hooked into it. Uh, and, and Fox News, you name it, are reporting that indictments of Hillary are down the road. That's what I was told last Friday. And everybody says, oh, no, this whole new data dump is a smokescreen for what's already in WikiLeaks. And, and I mean, I agree, what's already in WikiLeaks hasn't been covered by mainstream media. It is absolute open and shut. Something must be done about it. But who knows what's in this new stuff? But look at the new WikiLeak. It's Podesta going to satanic rituals to drink blood, semen, urine, breast milk, grinding up placentas. Uh, I haven't even shown the stuff yet. Because I've seen it twice is enough. But we're going to do viewer discretion is advised a little bit later. Plus, YouTube and Facebook will use all the blood, all the deaths. Great if it's them pushing it. But if you show something and say it's bad, then they'll then they'll shut it down. But it's uh, it's, it's it's really nasty stuff. And again, it's baby training. What you do in the outer public ritual because. This is him in a secret ritual, which she says in her own pub sta public statements is real when she does it in private. But then the public is just a recruiting arm. And that's all basically admitted as well. And these people are just so pathetic, trying to be shocking, trying to be powerful, just running around desperately looking for God, desperately looking for power. And it, they just, just, just reek weakness. I mean, you could not pay me $80 trillion to be around these people, to be with them, to drink blood with them. And it's not that I couldn't drink blood. Hell, I've done the old hunter ritual, you know, when you're eight and you shoot your first deer and drink blood hot. That's an ancient ritual. That's just about being a hunter. But call me the hunter. That's my name. Pretty young thing like you. That's my only game. But when you get down to the brass tacks with these people, it's about betrayal, it's about nastiness, it's about doing horrible things, and then you see what they do in the real world, it's all about that. And Hillary is just this totally mixed up, totally freaked out, crazy woman who was pen pals with Saul Alinsky, who dedicated himself to Lucifer. And then she hung out with him, and he was her mentor. I mean, and Bill Clinton, it just reminded me today, it hit me like a ton of bricks, how much stuff they admit they're involved in with the occult. I mean, Bill Clinton... Bill Clinton, in his own book about his early years, I showed it earlier, said he loves voodoo. So this is going super viral because I told you they're into the occult. I said it a month ago, and Hillary and Obama took the bait and attacked me. And I was, I don't know how I know this stuff. I just felt like I need to do this. I know they're involved in the occult. Let me bring up what people are saying about them. They'll attack. And then I just had a feeling WikiLeaks was going to bring this out because I know they spend all their time doing these rituals. I mean, you know, it's after dark, folks. They're getting down on the knees of the devil. Now, one of the things that 
I have learned about Hillary Clinton is that one of her heroes, her mentors, was Saul Alinsky. And her senior thesis was about Saul Alinsky. This was someone that she greatly admired and that affected all of her philosophies subsequently. Now, interestingly enough, let me tell you something about Saul Alinsky. He wrote a book called Rules for Radicals. On the dedication page, it acknowledges Lucifer, the original radical who gained his own kingdom. Now think about that. This is a nation where our founding document, the Declaration of Independence, talks about certain inalienable rights that come from our creator. So are we willing to elect someone as president who has as their role model somebody who acknowledges Lucifer? Think about that. That's Ben Carson at the RNC in Cleveland back in July. I was there during the speech. It was powerful. They made fun of him. Well, I happen to have the excerpt of Bill Clinton's book that he wrote about his early life titled My Life, The Early Years, where he talks about the beauty of voodoo and having evil and good spirits enter him and how he likes it. That's on uh, page 312, 313. Why is that important? Because it goes to the MO. You know, would you, would you have somebody that would say, into drinking blood with a bunch of naked women and stuff and effigies of dead kids. Would you want them babysitting your kids? The, the answer is absolutely not. But this is who's going to run our country, and uh, it's now out. Spirit cooking, Clinton campaign chairman, invited to bizarre satanic performance, and that's an Aleister Crowley deal of, 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 of drinking ground-up ba uh, baby parts and stuff, but, but then that's just mother's milk, urine, uh, blood, and uh, semen. And Podesta is being enticed about, oh, another great meeting, a private meeting, a party. And, and it's done. You, you do this, and then you have sex. So it's, it's Alistair Crowley's sex ritual. This is all about blackmailing folks. This is all about uh, controlling people. This is the hottest, coolest stuff right now uh, in New York. That's top story uh, on DrudgeReport.com. We put that on screen. And then under it is an article uh, from the London Guardian. FBI agency Antichrist, and then Assange says Clinton, ISIS funded by the same Saudi Arabian money, terror threat warning Monday. Well, what's that telling you? Who's behind ISIS? 940, no, 94,609,000 not in labor force. Now, so, so, so this is all happening. Uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour, we have Doug Hagman popping in on the show, who two days ago talked about his NYPD sources saying it's child abuse, it's the occult, it's money laundering, it's it's a blackmail operation on Wiener's computer, and he wouldn't say it all on air. I talked to him off air, and he was you know getting into the all the occult stuff. You can see him on air. He's like, ah, there's some other stuff I'm not gonna get into. It's just too much. Because who wants to say this? It just sounds insane. Well, these people are insane. So reportedly, this is what the NYPD is looking into. And then you've got this lady who the New York Times is pushing. Marina Abramovich, if you pronounce her name wrong, I don't know. Uh, Walk Through Walls, a memoir. And then it just goes through her wonderful you know, book that she's put out. And then you actually Google this woman. It's all Baphomet, blood, death, you know, effigies of babies being sacrificed, people worshiping her. Uh, a bunch of sex rituals. Just thank God I'm not these people. And this is the ether in which Hillary Clinton swims. This is the stuff that they're into. And I haven't shown the video. Now, we're going to go to Biggs in a moment. He, I told folks there's something really huge running and tell us uh, with some news that Breitbart's breaking on the latest on Wiener. We'll get it up on Infowars.com, uh, obviously. So we'll have him pop in in a moment. But, but, but first, while I find out exactly... Well, just go ahead, uh, Biggs. 
Okay, so there's a brand new article by Breitbart. Blackwater founder and retired Navy SEAL Eric Prince told Breitbart News Daily that according to one of his well-placed sources within the New York Police Department, the NYPD wanted to do a press conference announcing the warrants and the additional arrests they were making in the Anthony Weiner investigation, but received huge pushback from the Justice Department. Prince now, notice, Lee, notice, yeah, notice, I said yesterday and the day before, I, I said the word is, and when I had Colonel Schaefer on and others, I said, the, the, the word is you're going to see a press conference. The word is you're going to see a press conference, and that's exactly what I was told by FBI and our NYPD connections, mm -hmm. that they're looking at doing a press conference if the truth doesn't come out and just releasing it so nobody can stop them. Well, basically, they're saying uh, Prince claimed he had insider knowledge of the investigation that could help explain why FBI Director James Comey had announced he was reopening the investigation into Clinton's email server last week. Because of Wiener Gate and the sexing scandal, the NYPD started investigating through a subpoena, through a warrant. They researched his laptop and sure enough found those 650,000 emails. They found State Department emails. They found a lot of other really damning criminal information, including money laundering, including the fact that Hillary went to the sex island with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Bill Clinton went there more than 20 times. Hillary Clinton went there at least six times. Now, the New York Police Department took a copy of all this information, kept it for themselves, and then gave the FBI another copy as well, just in case they decided not to go. It says the amount of garbage... And that's what I've been told. That's why Hillary's so scared. I've been saying this for two weeks, folks, just to prove we have these real sources that it deals with the Epstein kids, uh, blackmail networks, you name it, getting all these rich people involved to control and have this network and that they're looking to have a press conference. This is gigantic. The amount of garbage that they found in these emails of criminal activity by Hillary, by her immediate circle, and even by other Democrats. And by the way, Eric opponents. Prince is super secretive and, mm -hmm. and, did, and did get a raw deal. I, in fact, I even bought into some of it early on. But what you heard was all these other groups being blamed on Blackwater. But the point is, he is a patriot overall. That's why they're coming after him. The fact that he surfaced all of a sudden shows how, what a desperate situation this is. And very credible to have him saying he has sources connecting this to the island because that's exactly what our sources are telling us. So what he says, the uh, NYPD gave it to the FBI and they said, hey, we're going to go public with this if you do not reopen in the investigation and you don't do the right thing with timely indictments. The NYPD wanted to do a press conference announcing the warrants and the additional arrests they were making in the investigation, and they've gotten huge pushback to the point of coercion from the Justice Department, with the Justice Department threatening to charge someone that had been unrelated in the accidental heart attack death of Eric Garner almost two years ago. That's the level of pushback the Obama Justice Department is doing against actually seeking justice in the email and other related criminal matters. That is intense. Well, how many times, I'm just pointing this out to listeners, did I say that the answer to this is a press conference, and that's what folks are looking at in New York and other areas, if the right thing isn't done, including the FBI? I mean, in fact, who, who, who all did I have on yesterday? Because I had a bunch of guests, and I continue to bring that up to each and every one of them, because I want to find the clip and play that. Uh, that's big news, Biggs. We'll cover it more in a moment. Thank you so much. Uh, what do you make of all this occultism coming out? I've actually been going back and looking at this Mariana Brovich, her videos, there's videos where she carves pentagrams into her stomach uh, with a, a razor blade. That she lays on the table convulsed and screaming uh, to the top of her lungs. Then she does what she calls performance art, where she places a bullet and a gun, razor blades and all this stuff, lays it out on a table and tells people that they can come up, control her life. They can punch her, they can beat her, they can cut her, they can kiss her, they can touch her, fondle her, or they can just kill her. And she sits there and promotes this weird, satanic, ritualistic stuff. Well, she's trying to get them into the spirit of killing an innocent to seduce them into that spirit. Uh, High-level Satanism. And this is, again, at the enticement level, the cat rolling its tongue out to get, you know, the mouse to come and think it's a hotel entrance and not a cat's mouth. Uh, this is really, 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 really bad stuff. And that's what I'm saying this morning and looking at all this. Hundreds of videos, thousands of photos, all of them admitting it, knowing it's true, knowing what the FBI has told us and the Secret Service. And, and it's just like, it's all true. And, and people are saying, we don't want you to be right, Alex, because that's now like the maxim. I'm not bringing myself into it. It's true. They're like, oh, my God, Alex Jones is right. How do you know it? Because they admit it. And I don't want to be right. I, I, it's crazy. I, I never get tired. 
This of cheese enchiladas. For I never anymore. get tired of cheese enchiladas. I never get tired of steak. I never get tired of chili rellenos. I never get tired of beer. I never get tired of water skiing. I never get tired of camping. I never get tired of hanging out with my family. Like, why do these people get into all this evil, Joe? I don't. I mean, you, you, as you get older, we hang out. Don't we just get back to more basic stuff? I mean, I don't understand where this crap comes from. Like I said, this is no longer a fight for just America. This is a fight between good and evil. I mean, over time, look how they're trying to take God out of schools. It's bad to pray. You can't talk about your religion. You can't do anything like that because you could offend one of these Muslim immigrants who are coming in. You know, that is something that is leading to this. And people can still sit here and see these uh, data dumps by WikiLeaks, read these emails, see the corruption, see the pure evil, the ritualistic ceremonies, the fetishes that these people are obsessed with, sexting underage people. I mean, this is horrifying. And people want to actually bring that into the White House for we the people? And How they are we going to be a, week, a beacon of light for the whole world? Exactly. And they think that we're all just going to lay down and take it we're not, and they've created such a nation of followers, so-called liberals, such a nation of trendies that are so broke back, so intimidated, so mindless, so dumbed down that they just, I mean, I saw a bunch of articles yesterday saying we're crazy, we're making it up that Hillary's committed crimes. That's a conspiracy theory. It's on record she did. So they're now assaulting reality itself in a giant brainwashing exercise that isn't working and I realized that they're all in the liberal cult that's not liberal. They're all in like some weird corporate brainwash cult and will believe anything. We're outside the cult looking at them, and, and they're just pathetic. All right. Uh, in fact, can Biggs give me the uh, Breitbart article he just had? It's basically exactly what I've been told by our sources that the NYPD and others uh, are looking at press conferences. So, so is the FBI. That's what I was told first. Uh, is just looking at having a press conference and saying, okay, here's the emails, and go ahead and arrest whoever you want for releasing secret stuff because this is evidence of hardcore crimes. And they know their credibility is going to be stronger than Hillary Clinton's. So there it is, Eric Prince, NYPD, ready to make arrest in Anthony Weiner case. And that's a strong headline, but we should probably post it ourselves and say, NYPD, FBI preparing press conferences to expose Hillary's crimes, because it isn't just Wiener. That's what we've been told, and, and, and Eric Prince of all sources, if you don't think he doesn't have sources, nobody's got sources like him. This is an incredible four days. By the way, I just made the decision, I'm going to be here tomorrow, 6 to 8 p.m. for at least a two-hour live special transmission that'll be internet only stations are welcome to pick it up if you want to i guess we can try to put it up on a satellite you know we've got a satellite feed here to, to that does our refeeds and live show but uh 6 to 8 p.m tomorrow night we will do a special election broadcast and i got a feeling big things may happen by then we might go longer than that uh so tomorrow six to eight we'll we'll have a video box at infowars.com forward slash show where you'll, you'll be able to find that. We'll also put the stream out uh, on Paul Watson's YouTube. We have a strike against us trying to shut us down with fake copyright, so we can't live stream on our YouTube right now. This is the crap we deal with. And the person's in New Zealand, so I'm trying to figure out how to sue them. Not that I'm litigious, but people have to pay for trying to shut down the truth. And they have to, people have to learn. You do that, you lose your license for baritry, like other people have. But... All this stuff is happening. Uh, there's just so much to cover. But tomorrow night, let's tweet that out now. Let's let the you know, Facebook, Twitter, Alex Jones give an emergency election broadcast. Because they're saying ISIS al-Qaeda is set to hit Monday in Texas and New York, of course. Who, and you know who funds them and who runs them? The globalist Hillary. We've got all the new WikiLeaks coming out. Imagine, you thought it was hardcore, Podesta going to satanic rituals. I mean, with hardcore Aleister Crowley stuff, I mean, this is sick. Imagine what's coming out next and the creepiness of them talking about there'll be semen, there'll be blood, there'll be urine, there'll be flesh, there'll be, oh, but more blood than you can even, oh, blood, there'll be blood. Oh, I'll be there, oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's just like, ugh, ugh. 
Like, heaven help us. By the way, we've officially passed 1 billion. Uh, we've got about 5 billion views. YouTube vice president told us years ago. So it's grown. You count everybody out there. They have a map of it. That's why they wanted us to monetize it all. But then that would take people's channels over. So I didn't want to do it. I just want to get the word out. Uh, but 5 billion views a couple of years ago total. But we now have 1 billion just on the Alex Jones channel. That happened today. And you've got to understand um, that obviously over the years, a lot of stuff's been taken down, you name it. Stuff's been hit with claims or whatever. So we're like a billion and a half views on there. But it's just good to see that because that's just one more platform. It's kind of like whack-a-mole. They're always trying to shut us down and things. We just move around. But we've got more than 15 channels ourselves. But that's about maybe a billion and a half people, two billion on all our channels. All total, it was five billion years ago. I was told by, told by YouTube because they've got, again, computer programs that can see it all. I'm going to go to break, come back with our next guest that broke down exactly what is in Breitbart today. But separately, they didn't take the special down yesterday, so it's one more day and then that's it. You can save 30 to 40% on InfoWars, high-quality, storable foods, powered by My Patriot Supply, their entire catalog, discounted, normally 10%, now 30 to 40%, InfoWarsStore.com, or call toll-free, 888-253-3139. You need this. You need our solar panels and generator systems that are excellent. You need the non-GMO seeds and heirloom seeds. You need the Molon Lave shirts to spread the word. You need the great nutraceuticals at InfoWarsLife.com. But regardless, it funds the operation. And you notice I'm not plugging as much as I used to, even though I need to, because I just can't help it. I mean, I'm going to be up here tomorrow night. I'm going to be following special reports all day long till I'm cross-eyed. Because this is a historical war going on, and we're winning that war thanks to you and your support. There is nowhere you can spend your money and support an organization that's bringing victory over tyranny. And then you get great products and great prices on top of it. Win, 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 win. That's right. Infowarslife.com, infowarsstore.com, or 888-253-3139. Stay with us. I just can't hold back the truth anymore. Hillary Clinton is one of the most vicious serial killers the planet's ever seen. Now, there's a twist to that. Am I talking about the devil worship story with her chief of staff, her campaign chairman, looking at the menu of blood and semen and, and body parts at the, at the Aleister Crowley event, the private event? Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I mean 200,000-plus dead Christians with her operation with Syria and her operation in Libya and not letting the Christians get out and, and directing Al-Qaeda and ISIS who target and murder children and put them through sex slavery and throw Catholic priests off cliffs and kill people in mass and murder gays and everything else you can imagine because they don't like peaceful people. And they con everybody that they're for open society and they love everybody. Anything they do is for degradation. Now, Doug Hagman... I've been hearing him for 15 years on Coast to Coast AM. First five, I thought, that guy is too radical. A lot of what he says I know is accurate. A lot of it uh, just is too much. He said they were going to bring in massive Muslims at some point and set up a caliphate. First guy I heard say it. He said they were going to use it for strategy attention. Now, he said a lot of things. And then about 10 years ago, I started going, man, that all came true. And then more of it came true. And then I learned from some of my sources, who are former Secret Service, connected to um, NYPD. Now, one of those is, is Bongino, but he doesn't give us any secret stuff. Another one was also in the NYPD. They said, you ought to interview Doug Hagman. That guy's dead on. I go, well, I've been interviewing him. I know he's dead on. He was here two days ago. The video's on InfoWars.com. He said, I'm not going to go all the way because this is just too over the top. I'm going to let it come out. But the NYPD is getting ready to basically have a press conference. The FBI is as well. There's the insider, NYPD, FBI, found sex blackmail network on Wiener's computer. And he got into it. sex crimes with kids. It's everything. No one had this. And all I'm pointing out is we don't make stuff up. It's not about it's not about credit. It's about, let me tell you something. When you're with Secret Service agents and they're senior, and then they live, those are smart, pretty tough, smart guys, you know. And then they've got the archetype and everything of the suit and their, you know, their eyes right on you, and you can tell they're not, and they're like, she's really dangerous. We're all really scared and we can't tell everything, but just you're right about it all. God save America. And they start getting to tear their eye. You're like, well, what is it? They go, it's bad. <laughs> They hurt children, folks. <laughs> and then he 
talks to the NYPD, and that's Eric Prince has come out with all of it, ladies and gentlemen. The stuff they're doing, all of it, talking to the NYPD, the same thing he said two days ago about children and sex islands and sex slavery. And, folks, a lot of these kids, they don't just throw them out of the side of the road, folks. You know what they do to them, okay? Look at these people. Look at Wiener and Aberdeen and Hillary. This is who's going to rule over us. And I cry because I am so ashamed of what our country turned into. And they want to degradate us. They want to sell baby parts and keep little babies alive and harvest their organs and laugh at us. And the fake liberal media making jokes about everything. They had a whole bunch of articles this week saying, I'm a liar. That there's not even any criminal activity that Hillary's done. I mean, these people are ready to do anything. They are the biggest scum you could imagine. You understand that? We've got to break with these people or we're going to lose our soul. And I mean that. Even if you haven't worked for them. All of us have to do everything or we're with them. You understand? Everything. We have to do whatever it takes, but be smart about it, to beat them. Look, they could cheat Trump. He's clearly way ahead. He's landsliding. They're adding 9 to 12 to 15, 20 points in, and he's still winning by 2, 6, 7, 8 points across the country. It's happening right now. But they're probably going to steal it and blow stuff up and blame it on us. So that's why, A, we don't get violent. And B, we expose who's really behind any false flags. Or if Trump does get in by the grace of God and they're unable to steal it, they're going to activate the riots. We don't. This, this is the great, this is the battle for America. Listen, this is it. Everybody wants to talk about it. You want to go, you know, watch movies where the good guys, the bad guys are fighting or whatever. Or they're trying to blow up the Death Star. Folks, this is the real deal, okay? This is America fighting for its life with globalists that have hired the scum of the earth. Because here's the thing. Even a bad, corrupt person doesn't want to wreck something that's successful and wealthy. They want to, they want to, they want to skim off of it. The sitting boss hog. These are people that love stealing the Haitian money, 90 plus percent of it. That Hillary's hooked him with this woman that got indicted for smuggling kids in and stuff that were... I mean, folks, in the Haitians, and it hooks into New York. I mean, it's bad. And whatever it is, because all I'm told is it's pedophilia, it's Satanism. We've told you this over and over again. And now it's coming out, and they keep escalating. I told you last week ten times. They don't want to release this because it's so damaging to the country, to everybody. But you know what? It's better than them being in control. So the fact that Hillary and the media and all of them keep supporting her even while this is happening, means it's all going to have to come out. Hillary may start a big war, get an internet kill switch. Can you think what they might do to stop it? But here's the deal. People now aren't bluffed. They go, okay, go ahead and start the war. Then you know what, we're doing it. There's a point where you just say, I'm fed up. Justice be done, may the heavens fall. They said that hundreds, who's that famous quote from? I forget. That was said long before on nuclear weapons. Justice be done, though the heavens fall. Maybe we deserve a nuclear war that they're trying to give us. Maybe that's what we let devil worshippers in. Maybe we're meant to everybody to die. You know what? At least, at least they won't be able to torture little kids to death anymore. At least they'll all just get killed by hydrogen bombs instead of Hillary leaning over them. Man, a damn dark room. You imagine that? How about having that witch march in there? With your toddler they fished out of your backyard. How's that sound? You want that? Because that's what this is. And she hates me because she knows I see her and I know who she is. Dark heart, give me a break, lady. We all know who's got the dark heart around here. And it ain't me. Now, I kind of gone wild here. But, I mean, I, I got to hand it to you because I also have the sources of the FBI. I was thinking about a press conference. The NYPD, I knew, was heavily involved. I didn't know they were the ones that were enforcing the FBI now. That Since you said it two days ago, that's been confirmed. So, Doug Hagman here. Uh, joining us, Eric Prince, NYPD, ready to make arrests in Anthony Weiner case, goes on to say, pedophile island, that's why they're upset, little kids. I saw you during the break, holding up some of the investigative material. This is this is about to get bombshell. Uh, so, Mr. Hagman, I'm going to give folks your website out, obviously. Uh, it's uh, uh, goes to it all the time, but I'm so angry I can hardly even think right now. It's, it's HagmanReport.com. That's right, HagmanReport.com. Uh, I mean, this is, recap your sources, what they said, and go ahead and go with all of it. I know you don't want to say it because it sounds so crazy, but you know what? The, they're the ones that are crazy, not us. Tell folks what's happening. 
Well, I think you sense my, my reluctance to talk about this uh, on Wednesday. I didn't know how, how far this was going to come out. My, my sources at the periphery uh, of this investigation and, the, and even within NYPD said, look, this is not just about uh, sexting. This is not just about espionage. This is about child pornography. And just to, uh, for the first time, well, let me back up for a second because I'm getting the uh, uh, really, I mean, th this will really get in your mind, inside your mind, because it's so horrific. Um, I've been an investigator for 30 years. It was back in 1987 when I was first exposed to satanic ritual abuse, satanic crimes, cult like this. And I wrote about it in my book, Stained by Blood, okay? Um, now, having said that, I, I've seen some things that I just couldn't believe possible. But when you take what I've seen with that and now connect it to the government, it makes it even more uh, putrid if that's possible. I was in contact with my source after our interview, uh, and he, he said, look, we've got, we've got the goods on a number of people, including some uh, pr pretty salacious uh, images and files from the computer. Just to give you an example, I have not showed this to anyone before. Um, I, you know, and I debated whether I should show it now, but this is the kind, and I'm about ready to show you this with your permission. Uh, it's, it's censored out, so it, it should we be okay. blacked out the areas, yeah. Right. This is uh, one of the files that was found on, d during the search of the, uh, of Wiener's computer. All right. This, this is given to me by a source. Now, that because of all the black on there that I put on there, that might not mean anything to to anyone. But this goes along with. If you saw uh, what was under it, you'd be horrified. Well, yes, yes, and it's it's uh, look. It, this is all about sex trafficking, or a lot of it's about sex trafficking. A lot of the emails. Well, let me add this: you, WikiLeaks leaked to We Are Change that was bold enough to go with the angle that this is about child trafficking. Now, what does that tell you? WikiLeaks leaked the info then linked to the media that finally figured out what was going on first that tells you wikileaks is getting ready to release the pedophile info uh, yes uh, and there's more God, look coming. at hillary's face i mean she looks like a demon because she <laughs> is i'm sorry go ahead doug no no it's fine um I, I would urge everyone looking at these emails because there are so many of them with with respect to podesta um uh, we found uh, well my source i shouldn't say we my source and let's be clear is, your source gave you that photo just as an example of what's right and, and that obviously was gave you one of the lighter ones because it would even almost be illegal even though you're an investigator and accredited to even share that with you right and, and actually i could probably take the uh, tape off and it wouldn't really mean anything um it, it would be fine but but the fact is and by the way this was not transmitted over any electronic device exactly. okay this was hand delivered to me but having said that there's indications of dark web uh, accessing the dark web of course there is a subtext or coding to some of the emails that podesta and others have uh in, including hillary and whom I have been engaged in, for example, um, Pizza Party. I'll just leave this out there. Pizza Party. That's not exactly what it means. You know, don't bring a. You know, don't bring your favorite video over for a pizza night. Uh, a pizza party is something uh, that has sexual connotations. And that's why um, they say stuff like, "There'll be semen. There'll be. There'll be. Uh, you know, this and that. There'll be blood. Lots of blood. Blood right. even means something." No, exactly. It does. I mean, you could go to uh, yes. Because what spews yes. lots of blood? Yeah. Well, yes. Um, and you know what? Um, I was watching some. I was watching some other videos. Uh, Alex, you had Larry Nichols on talking about uh, some time ago talking about uh, Hillary's trips monthly. Or he told me twenty years ago, and and actually researchers actually have the news articles. Hell, Nichols doesn't even know this. It's in the Washington Post. Bill saying. I'm a voodooist. I, I like to be possessed by spirits. He wrote it in his book. But, but I mean, Nichols told me about the handler, who, who he was years ago. Now the guys in the Inquirer, and they were there handling Hillary. It was so embarrassing because she was going to these orgies, but also going to these other rituals. And to her credit, she hadn't been in the real, you know, bloodthirsty stuff until later. And she got sucked in by the, when she was first lady, into the hardcore stuff. Uh, and so they were trying to handle all that. And they called that the witches, the uh, the uh, witches church. That we should cue up Nichols since he mentioned it. Go ahead. Well, 
the uh, spirit cooking even has a different connotation to it as well. Uh, some claim that... Uh, well, Crowley is, said it, it meant cooking children. Exactly. And, and for as much... Now, look, I don't know in that respect. I don't know what the... Because uh, they're torturing are, a soul, a spirit, a child. Exactly. But, but I'll say this. There is enough, according to my source, who provided me with that documentation... Oh, and your goal, brother. I mean, you, you said the press conference was going on. Here it is in Breitbart with Eric Prince of everybody saying it. Total credibility with his sources. So, so what else are your sources saying? Well, I, I, this is big. This is going to involve not just the Clinton campaign, but it's also going to involve high levels, high congressional uh, uh, staffers, high congressional or high congressional uh, congresspeople uh, uh, on the left and the right, on the Republican and Democratic side. They knew about this. They were part of this. Think of this as like an, an electronic bohemian grove, uh, an electronic per persistent bohemian grove. And, and as we get into this, and I'm learning about this from what my source is given, giving me, uh, I got to tell you, this, th there's so much more to come out and so much more repulsive, repugnant information. And, and you know, it reminds me, too, of, of Hillary Clinton's stance on um, abortion. The, 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 uh, uh, the, there, there's, the there's baby some, parts. Exactly. And and to think about that is just so horrific. But Which a lot uh, of the abortuary people that have woken up on public admitted they were doing rituals before. These are actually satanic covens where they're doing yes. the rituals daily, especially the partial birth abortions. But expanding on that, when you talk about electronic you know, clearinghouse for this, that's what they're doing as they compromise. They think they're above the law. They're roping other people into it. So they can then corrupt and control them. I had William Benny, former head of the NSA technical on earlier. He said this is a classic uh, infiltration espionage program, but it's being done by large banks, not by the Russians. And, and that's a good point, too, because there is some Wall Street, high level Wall Street bankers that, that are that, that are not only engaged in this behavior, but have on on video this kind of behavior. And people might say, well, you know, just go ahead and show it. Let, let, let it out to, you know, to everyone. Well, I don't think you can really do that, um, but but some of the documentation, including or uh, that that is this should is, this should all come out. But folks, it has to be done right. The stock market's going to crash. I mean, this will cause a civil war. Okay, oh, I mean, I'm already feeling yeah. very angry right now. Okay, and so quite oh, yeah. frankly, like I haven't been showing these videos of the satanic rituals that are just their public ones because it, it's it's so provocative. Exactly. I mean, what we're, I guess in a nutshell, we're seeing money laundering, child exploitation, sex crimes with minors. I mean, clearly underage minors, 15 for uh, uh, Wiener would be, would be um, too old, you know. And so for I was about to say, people. they're putting out the lighter stuff, hoping the Democrats back off and do the right thing, but they aren't. So I'm they're told not. it's going to go right to the finish. Just you want the worst stuff, we're going to see video of a toddler getting chopped up. Yeah, you know, and, and I wouldn't, uh, for as, as crazy as that sounds, Alex, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I would not put it past them. We're talking Jeffrey Dahmer kind of activity. Exactly. Give us the data dump, because obviously I'm not just saying this for effect. You're in danger. I'm in danger even talking to you, because you've been proven dead on again with your New York source. You, you broke this first about the press conferences, the rest of it. Everything he told you, or she told you. Yes. I mean, not just yes. your FBI, but your NYPD. Just everything. Yeah. Yes, and clearly, I just wanted to make it clear that this this source is within the uh, uh, orbit of the F or the uh, NYPD FBI uh, investigation on the ground in uh, New York, New York City, and Westchester County as well. Um, it, well, specifically New York City. Uh, uh, boy, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, West, but it, there's an investigation going on in. Uh, uh, an active investigation, investigation still going on in various locations in... It's in okay. These the people world. exposing this are all heroes. It doesn't matter. They'll get medals. Everybody else is going to get hung up. We all know that. Uh, end of a yeah. rope. So let's just keep going. Well, and uh, the, the number of emails, the number of files, the number of images are staggering. Uh, the Clinton insiders. And, and Huma knew about this. Huma was part of it. Based on... This is my personal professional opinion based on the information I've received. Uh, Wiener was part of it. Now they're luring up uh, independently, trying to uh, mitigate the damages caused to both. Um, the, uh, uh, the at the epicenter of this, however, is Hillary, who does celebrate the Aleister Crowley uh, type of black magic, and uh, 
you know, this does involve Bill Clinton as well on the Lolita Express, which I mentioned on Wednesday. All of this has as a nefarious, I mean, all of these have nefarious connections. This is a huge spider web. And when, when it all comes out in the wash, I mean, the espionage factor is there. The blackmailing factor is there as well, because uh, Alex, uh, other countries have this information. There were other devices connected to the router that was in the home of Wiener and Abedin. Other devices were connected to that router that they have identified, and it's not, they don't belong to our, uh, anyone within our country. So, well, that's the next part. Clearly, this is a clearinghouse to not just do all this horrible stuff, you're doing it to blackmail the intelligentsia of New York like a bunch of idiots and then sell the data off to everybody. Yeah, you know, I, I, at this point, everyone I've seen with respect to everyone who's been mentioned involved in this investigation, as far as I'm concerned, and based on my sources, has been sexually compromised. There's just, I mean, the blackmail, um, gone are the days, you know, where, where you could be blackmailed for being a, a homosexual. This is exponentially worse than that. This is, uh, this is actually criminal behavior that involves children animals, and the sickest things you can ever think of. It, sure, let me bring up our out. article that's on Infowars.com uh, that Paul Watson put out that's on DrudgeReport.com dealing with the head of the Clinton campaign being involved in Aleister Crowley rituals, specifically the Satanist of Satanists, the bottom of the barrel, the worst of the worst. I mean, you cannot make this up. The guy they call the most evil man to ever live reportedly sacrificed his own son in a ritual in Spain, or was it Portugal? They're on the side of a mountain. Uh, I mean, this is the type of crap we're dealing with and if you scroll down, WikiLeaks, Assange tweeted out, we are changes analysis, linking it into the Haitian kids that got illegally smuggled in and stuff. And what does that say that WikiLeaks linked to them? What, what is WikiLeaks trying to say there? Don't, and don't forget Bill and Hillary honeymooned in, in Haiti. Uh, I would never thought to do that. You have to ask yourself why. And then, of course, the business interests they have in Oh, I'll Haiti. tell you. I have his book. They're here. Yeah. Know, let's just why, why listen to Doug Hagman. My life or Alex Jones, my life, the early years, page th 312, 313, and 14. He talks about the beauty. This is like hearing an evangelical talk about Christ, the beauty and the wonder of having evil spirits enter him and how it took him to wonderful places. Yeah. yeah. Bill Clinton wonderful. singing the praises of voodoo and demon possession. You know, and Alex, it's for the people listening to this that find this difficult to believe. It's not important what we believe. It, it, what we believe, they, they don't care what we believe. It's what they believe that they consider to be important. So if they believe in this, um, no, we're like of, anthropologists looking at what you know the Laotians believe, or we're looking at what pygmies believe, or the right. Romans believe. And, and you look at it, they're a bunch of filthy, crazy Satanists. Exactly. And, and by the way, there will be at least six, if not eight or more verified uh, trips uh, be, by Hillary and by Huma on the Lolita Express. Of course, you talked about that. By the way, Prince is saying that, too. And I mean, folks, okay. you know, it's like the, 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 the crossroads when Eric Prince appears out of nowhere with this information. Wow. OK. Yeah, I, I guess I'm a little bit behind based on the. You know, trying to conduct my... Okay, no, the, well, the, the, the head of the biggest mercenary group worldwide, who I later learned is actually a patriot, and they used to plant other groups doing things to blame him. I've confirmed it. Not that they're perfect. I mean, nobody is. Obviously, those wars were wrong and things. The point is, Eric Prince has now uh, come out and certified everything you're saying, that there was going to be a big press conference. The Justice Department threatened him. It was all hell broke loose. They said, okay, you better do it. And that's what made... First time I ever heard the NYPD, I knew they were involved, made the FBI do it, was from you. And then that's what Eric oh. Prince is saying right here. Yeah, and, and they've got, they were extremely intelligent. The NYPD investigators, I've got to give them a lot of credit based on my knowledge, at least what I've been told. And you know they, they're in a lot of danger. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, the professional and personal, and let me emphasize the personal danger. Uh, one of the families of one of the investigators has been sent off the... Uh, Sent, sent out of the area because of threats to the family and, and this investigator. I, that I know I can verify. Um, the FBI, the core FBI rank and file, they're, they, they're, they're behind this investigation. The, the Comey's and uh, above the, you know, in the same area of the Comey, uh, James Comey, not too happy about this. Comey was put in a bad position based on this material. Sure, and let's be clear. It, it's all on a guardian. They even admit the truth. 
six months ago, they weren't behind Trump. When they found out how evil Hillary was, quote, the FBI is now Trumplandia. So now, like, 90% understand we're done if he doesn't get in. Boy, that's true. And I'd like to remind people, too, when I do investigations and I've done investigations again, I, I, I can't certainly plan my investigations around any one date or event such as an election. I just don't do that. It just it comes out when it comes out. Uh, in this case, obviously, they perhaps they planned it. Maybe they didn't. But the fact is the door was open for them on October 3rd. That just happened to be when they were able to go in and take a look at the at the documents. Um, and whoever was responsible for that date, I don't know. But the bottom line is this. That doesn't change the information that's on there. And, and sure, well, Prince gone. adds more depth from the top. You're kind of in the middle or the bottom, which I love to get both views. No, it's it's like, listen, they kept waiting for the FBI to do something. They've had this for six months or longer. They wouldn't do anything. And they said, that's it. We're doing a press conference two weeks ago. And that forced Comey because, you know, because they were like threatening these people. I mean, you name it. They right. were going to do the press conference and release it. And so they were forced to do this. This is epic. This is epic. Yes, I'm so is. proud of the NYPD, though, doing the right thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very hard workers and, and extremely patriotic, much more than uh, people give give them credit. Well, for. it isn't hard to make the right decision when you're dealing with devil worse for certain kids. Yeah. I mean, you sign yeah. on to this, folks. You signed your life away. Yeah, exactly. And, and Alex, I think you've done a great job in really putting this together. And I think that I mean, I, I really don't have I can add nothing more than what you've already said, except to say that all of the components are here to expose the greatest perversion, the greatest um, uh, satanic, and I mean satanic, cabal of people that are associated with Hillary Clinton and the people in the halls of our uh, of power in the United States, which is just absolutely mind-boggling. And when if people knew, or hopefully people will know the truth behind this, it's going to change the way everyone looks at government, everyone looks at the, the people in power, because this will take a lot of people down. Wow, I know you've got to go, so I'm going to do five more minutes with you before um, Roger Stone joins us. We're going to get Pachinik on uh, as well and, and more. I may just keep going for five hours here. Uh, but I want to ask you when we come back about the Al-Qaeda threats in New York and Texas, the ISIS threats. I always call them by the real name Al-Qaeda. It's the same group. Uh, and, and what tricks they might play straight ahead. Before we go to break, I have really been lacking on this. We need your financial support. We don't really ask for donations. We, I mean, we do sometimes. Just go get storable foods, 30-40% off. They've extended it one more day because they didn't take it down. So that's extended one more day. Uh, we got the BioPCA, amazing uh, nail, uh, hair, and skin formula. Uh, I mean, competitors that don't even have as strong and good of stuff are like 60, 80 bucks. I mean, literally, this is 1995, normally 2995. I mean, you just cannot beat this new product. Uh, we've got other big discounts, InfoWarsLife.com, but just go to the site. There's thousands of great items, whether it's a Molon Lave shirt or non-GMO heirloom seeds. Uh, just everything wholesome and good is what counters these people. And purchasing the products funds our operation, makes it possible. 30% off on water filtration. Infowarsstore.com, Infowarslife.com, or AAA 2533139. And thank you all for the support. You've already done it. You've already built it. Now just keep putting fuel in it. And you know I'm crazed. I'm pedal to metal. They want to play chicken with me? <laughs> I'm ready. If we make the right choice in the coming days and weeks... If we stand up and decide we want justice, we're going to get it. It's a choice, spiritual choice in this universe. If we don't, God help us. Because evil is going to be turned loose in the land. The decadent, disconnected from reality, evil ones in New York and other areas that have been put in power that think our children are some throwaway toy for their enjoyment to violate the young. I'd love to be put in a room with them. I take on 20 of these globalists. They can all have battle axes. I get one, too. We'll see who's left standing. I don't say that to act tough, folks. I, I just have so much energy to go against them, and I, I, I can't even figure out the ways intellectually to beat them that I burn, burn with anger at myself that I'm not strong enough to absolutely destroy these people. That's why I love when they threaten me or... Attack me like I care what you do, you big bloated pedophiles. But here's the good thing about it. God hates you a thousand times more than I do, and you're going to get it. And there is a God, and you know it, and it's why you hate God. Doug Hagman, of the great work you do with the Northeast Intelligence Network, I appreciate you. It's, it's, it's a big deal that 
I knew the FBI was talking about press conferences and stuff so it was done. I didn't realize it was the NYPD that started it all. That's now confirmed by a very credible source who wouldn't stick his head up if it wasn't an emergency situation. The guy's been in hiding for five years. He's never even seen anymore. Eric Prince. Uh, so we're right here down on the wire. Uh, they're talking about Al-Qaeda. That's AP Reuters attacking during the, or ISIS attacking during the, uh, I just default to the real name, uh, during this uh, whole election. What's your gut tell you? What's your intel on that? What are they going to try to pull? Because clearly Trump's got a landslide, and, and they're, you know, they're trying to cover that up. Well, well don't forget 9-11-2001 was an election day in New York City. Um, you, you know, look, I, I think that ISIS or Al-Qaeda, uh, the group that was really uh, created by our own government, criminal elements within our own government, Hillary Clinton, to be precise, as well as those. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't kill bin Laden. It turns out the Clintons actually helped set it up. That's why they protected today. Yep. Yeah. I, but to, to your question about the uh, events here in the United States, I would not look. Uh, anything can happen, and I would be extremely remiss if I didn't say uh, prepare for the worst, pray for the best. But I'll just say this. When, when, you, when, they're, when these people are desperate, and they are desperate right now, uh, they're capable of anything. And I do see something taking place to get our minds and, and, and uh, eyes off of what, what we were just talking just about. Just imagine me and a kidnapped kid, and that door opens, and in comes walk, you know who. God, with that big joker smile saying, it's, whew, whew. Can you imagine that, Doug? Yeah. He's <laughs> You know what, Alex? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it's been a very emotional time for me it is seeing what I've seen um, and not knowing exactly the extent, but but hearing of the extent of what's out there. Uh, I just pray to God that we've got uh, uh, that we have re resolution um, for the children's sake, for the sake of the children and for uh, and justice for the sake of our country. I really do. It really and is you, over the top. I, I just can't believe it. And again, and then, we have Eric Prince you. saying he has high-level sources that Hillary was going to the pedophile island and that the NYPD was about to release it. That's exactly the intel you had. That's exactly yeah. what you said two days ago, and here it is, you know. And I want to thank you, Alex, for all the work you do. Again, I'm not blowing smoke. This is, thank you so much for everything you've done. You're a great patriot. You're a great American. And without you, I don't think any of this would have happened. Well, Doug, We're it's all of us together. Uh, Doug, God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Please join us uh, over the weekend. I'm doing a special show tomorrow. Uh, 6 to 8 p.m. I'm, I'm back Sunday, too. We're going to be on the air all the time. 52 hours starting on Monday. Thank you. We're, and thank the audience. God bless you. I mean, just thank God we're not, weren't brought up to, like, torture children. I just thank God I'm not like these people. And I've never been some Mr. Goody Two-Shoe, but, man, I mean, give me a break. Look, it's very simple. I had studied history, and I understood they were building a corporate, private world government that was anti-freedom. Because freedom competes with their system. So I began to try to build an organization to resist them. I figured I would cover these issues and other people would be concerned and they would go and build the, uh, other organizations to resist it and then we would win that way. I didn't think like I'd end up being one of the main players in it, but that doesn't matter now. The globalists are in trouble and they've tried to hire a bunch of psychopaths and crazy people like Hillary Clinton to carry out their operations but as the people in their own system learn just how evil it is, and just as we get closer to it being completed and world governments being announced and families are bad and guns are bad and humans are bad and you can't have a car, but the elite can all be filthy rich off your back. Everybody's going, you know, this system sucks. And then they've got all this NSA technology and all these arrogant politicians are doing satanic rituals and dealing drugs and hurting kids and doing all this crazy stuff. And they think as they have top-down control, their own minions aren't going to go, you're doing rituals with little kids? What the? We're not going to be part of this. And that's why this is all blown up in their face. Now, Roger Stone just got off the road. He's joining us. You've got Associated Press and others saying ISIS, Al-Qaeda attacks in Texas, New York, and other battleground states. Because they're saying Texas is a battleground now with their propaganda. They're saying all this huge news is coming out. More WikiLeaks, the latest WikiLeaks, New York City with the campaign head hanging out with this woman that's like this coven leader of hardcore Aleister Crowley black magic with mixing bodily fluids and drinking them and talking about child sacrifice.
and then hooked into all this other weird stuff. This is the most, I keep saying every week now, the most viral thing we've ever done. This is the most viral. Stuff is so viral right now, it's just crazy. We're four days out. All there is is Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's three days, folks, and change. And we're into the election day, three and a half days. So we're sitting here. We've been trying to get Trump to win. We've been exposing the globalists. Trump is ahead in all these different battleground states, even with oversampling. But now, what happens? What will Soros do if Trump wins? Will they activate rioters? Or if Trump loses, will they false flag and blame it on us and say we blew something up because Trump lost? I mean, we're now down to the wire. We've been trying to get Trump to win. We've been trying to expose globalism. But now, Roger Stone, we've now basically, we're T minus zero. We're now ignition, prepare, lift off, launch, launch, Cape Canaveral. I mean, they have ignited, you know, they do those big Saturn launches or, or, or launches of the space shuttle. You know, they first ignite these big torches. So when they let that fuel out of the engines, it's on. They are now igniting the primary ignition. And so, essentially, we're here. D-Day's here. Crossroads is here. Uh, history's happening. And Assange linked to We Are Change, which is a citizen activist news group, does some good work. They linked to that this morning. We added it to our article. And them pointing out this could be connected to smuggling kids out for human sacrifice. Why would Julian Assange put out a report of Satanism by Podesta and, and a menu of bodily fluids to enjoy at the ritual? With all these, you know, the orgy, well, that's admitted. Why would they do that? And then, and then they link to something we were already looking at, but I'm not going to put that out. I mean, but now I will, because, I mean, WikiLeaks is saying, look at this. And then I'm told by NYPD, FBI sources, confirmed before Breitbart even had it two days, that it's going to be pedophile island, all of it, and worse than we thought. I mean, Roger, this is, this is turning into a freaking nightmare. Well, a nightmare for Hillary Clinton and her clique, no question about it. Uh, the, I liken the 650,000 emails in the Huma Abedin, uh, 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 Anthony Weiner trove uh, to be like the Watergate tapes. These are indelible. Because Except Richard York Nixon wasn't having satanic rituals. Well, obviously, the crimes are, are uh, pale in comparison to what Nixon was ultimately went down for, uh, which, to remind you, was dirty tricks in connection with the 1972 election. No, I think uh, my sources uh, for several days have now told me that the criminal charges that will ultimately flow from this catch of information include uh, corruption, treason, Sexual exploitation of children. Wow. Uh, pay for play. Uh, I mean, this is this is the whole Magilla. Uh, and uh, because of the role of the NYPD, there is now zero chance that the Department of Justice or a faction of the FBI uh, working with the Central Intelligence Agency can contain this. It, it cannot be covered up. There so it's the local no cops again, up. just like the UN's trying to take them over. It's the local cops again that save the day. Because they began looking at the potential sex crimes of Anthony Weiner, they came in contact uh, with uh, an enormous catch of information that is going to ultimately bring Hillary Clinton and the circle around her down. Wow, Roger, uh, you all you don't mince words, but you never exaggerate. You're a big New York insider. You know everybody, you're a who's who, friends with Trump 40 years. We're going to skip this break to give you the floor. You've never dropped such bombshells. So you sound so confident. Tell us about what your sources said and, 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 and you know, kind of fill in what you just talked about because that is so huge. And that's exactly what I'm getting from my sources. Well, there's several things going on afoot here today. I'm sure you have read that an anonymous tipster uh, told the FBI of the existence uh, of these records. Um, I believe that I had lunch with that tipster today, and I believe his name will become public uh, very shortly. This is someone who worked as an asset for the Central Intelligence Agency, but who uh, can outline the epic struggle between the Department of Justice uh, and the Eastern District of New York to contain the, the Clintons' the various scandals. Um, these include um, shaking down Serbia. We made them pay for a meeting with Barack Obama. Uh, there may have been
been instances where foreign powers and entities hostile to the United States paid the Clintons to be able to examine classified. I was about to say, they keep claiming Trump's with the Russians. The, it, it, the, even the Inquirer is now saying it's actually coming out. It's Russians paying Hillary. Yeah, this, this, is, this has always been this, uh, this mirror image world in which everything they do, they turn around and accuse the Trump of. So uh, I also believe that there will be uh, a trove of Benghazi-related documents that will come out of the Eastern District and the Justice Department there, out of the criminal investigation uh, into what was really happening in Benghazi, that will shed entirely new light on that uh, wow. scandal. So bottom line, there's a war within the government. The Patriots are winning right now. How does Hillary strike back? Well, uh, the, uh, there's two questions. First of all, does all of this manifest itself uh, quickly enough to impact an election in three days? Or does she manage to squeeze by? Or does she manage to steal it? The ferocity with which the Democrats are suing Donald Trump and I in the federal courts, now resorting to the use of fabricated evidence, things that I have never posted or said are attributed to me. Uh, motives are being attributed to me that are completely inconsistent with the conduct of an exit poll. In an exit poll, you only speak to people after they have voted. So how can they be intimidated when they've already voted? Uh, it, it, the whole thing's an absurdity. This is... You're absolutely uh, right, Roger. And, and one has to presume, and one has to presume that the purpose of the lawsuits uh, are not only for publicity, but also because the Democrats morbidly fear an honest election. They don't want an exit poll that allows you to compare exit poll results with actual machine results because they're concerned that it, there will be a substantial discrepancy. That's why I believe that the Soros crowd, particularly with his investment in voting machines in 16 states, they are now committed to stealing this election if that's what it takes. Well, Roger Stone, they're certainly bold. Uh, again, some of the other big WikiLeaks that are coming out, there's Newsweek. Trump and Stone sued in four battleground states for alleged voter intimidation efforts. So they claim there's no election fraud problems, but I saw AP this morning saying, Fed's girt for massive election outages and crises. They just say the machines are breaking now. So the Feds are going to be crawling around like army ants all over the election with, with UN and EU inspectors. But don't worry. The only threat is Roger Stone and Donald Trump. Yeah, look, our, there's not going to be anything untoward about our conduct on Election Day. All we're asking for is an honest election. All we would like to see is that the U.S. election held next Tuesday adhere to the federal standards used by Hillary Clinton's State Department that there can be no greater than a 2% deviance between the actual results at the polls as reported, and the exit polls. That's the policy that our State Department uses in judging the integrity of a foreign election. Uh, and that's all we're asking for here. This sure, so let me ask you are. this then. Let me ask you this question, Roger Stone. Obviously, you said this a week ago, I believe you. They're out of ammo. No more made-up fake controversies. But, but, I mean, could they have something up their sleeve? Election theft or some kind of false flag, you know, attack on American interests someplace. I think that's what we're down to. Look, they had two whole cards. One was the phony rape lawsuit against Donald Trump. Completely and completely bogus. The idea that, that he raped some 13-year-old whose name has never been revealed in court or publicly. And has now been dropped and, again. And it's now been collapsed because they couldn't get whoever their stooge was to stand up and say that. This was completely false. Uh, that has collapsed. Then there's Donald Trump's secret Russian computer server. The New York Times debunked that. Yeah, they're out of cards. Uh, and the fuse is lit on their criminal indictment and, and prosecution. Uh, so 
it, it is there's no good ending here for Hillary Clinton, regardless of the outcome of the election. The cover up will no longer hold. Everything is out here and it's far worse, as you point out, than we ever thought. Look, we're libertines, but we, we're not hurting anybody. Uh, I don't claim to be some big Pharisee, Mr. Goody Two Shoes, out policing everybody. But I, I, I mean, I quite frankly lead a pretty staid life, but I'm not here policing people. But you get into all this weird devil worship stuff and all my other guests that have confirmed it, and Hillary into all this weird crap and Epstein and sex slaves, and then now Breitbart's got witnesses in the NYPD confirming what my witnesses were saying, and Eric Prince is involved, heavily involved in black ops, saying absolutely the Clintons are trafficking kids. Prince wouldn't come out and say that unless he thought the whole country was on the line. And obviously it's true. Who the hell are these people? Who does this kind of crap? I know you've lived in New York a long time, but man, I tell you, uh, I only ran into Satanism when I was in high school in Dallas. High-level rich people were involved. I never got into it, but I knew it was there because I ran into it a couple times. Never ran into it again. What's going on in New York? I mean, did have you, because I mean, you know what's going on in New York. Did you ever get wind of actual Satanism? Well, when I wrote my book on the Bush crime family, uh, and I had to obviously uh, cover the um, some of the scandals in the Midwest, in Nebraska, that, that touched on the subject. Oh, yeah, I Omaha. I became familiar. I first became familiar with it. Um, yes, Alex, I think uh, among the super elite, uh, there has always been uh, an interest in pedophilia. It is more widespread um, than perhaps people know. I think it's particularly widespread in Europe and in the UK. And it's very clear that this fellow Epstein was trafficking uh, young men and young women uh, to, uh, uh, to super elites. Uh, many of whose names you would recognize, uh, at least one former Democratic U.S. senator, at least one former Democratic governor, a couple cabinet officers, uh, some athletes, some scientists, some bankers, some extremely well-known, you know, uh, A-list celebrity types. Uh, I think if the average American knew how much of this existed, they would be revolted. Uh, like you, I'm, I'm a libertine. I make no bones about it. But sex with children? That's disgusting. And, it, and anybody who is... Yeah, I mean, I'm against that, sex with children, doctor. rape of women, anything exploitive. Uh, and I'm so sick of hearing out, I'm a homophobe. Anything, anything non-consensual. Exactly. I don't yeah, care. I don't get into all this stuff. And they claim, because I don't like Hillary, I'm this homophobe. They're the ones funding ISIS to throw gays off buildings. And then you keep running into just all their sordid behavior. I mean, how bad is this woman? Intrinsically evil. Just intrinsically evil. A terrific piece in today's New York Daily News, uh, a paper that has been very, very critical of Donald Trump uh, and, frankly, has been vicious to him, but an excellent piece there by Lisa Schifrin in which she discusses the multiple personalities of Hillary Clinton. The woman you see on television, that's not Hillary. The real Hillary is a vicious, angry, abusive, foul-mouthed, short-tempered megalomaniac. She's unhinged. She's unbalanced. She's a screamer, from what I understand. She likes to throw things at people, including her husband. Sure, we've this got it on screen, violent. and let me raise this now. Satanism and the occult is just an ancient form of mind control. And if anybody's a Manchurian candidate and has this weird background with her dad, Hillary acts like somebody who's been programmed, and it's wearing out. And now you have New York Daily News, a huge Democrat outfit, basically saying she has multiple personalities. I've told people privately that if anybody's a Manchurian candidate programmed by somebody, I think it's Hillary. Well, that's a real, that's a real possibility. Uh, I, I, this is unlike any election or any electoral experience that I have had. And now the real question, Alex, is, is what is the impact of what we already know in three days? Does this all manifest itself prior to election day or, or, or is the the real impact after election. And that's my next question. That's my next question. Assange, who I now know is a genius, and I apologize for attacking him. I was up, you know, 20 hours doing a live thing in the middle of the night. He didn't release the info. I felt, uh, you know, bad about it. I got mad. I apologize. Okay, and I'll admit it when I'm wrong. I'm really wrong. I'm really wrong. He's a genius. This drip, 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 drip. As he's done, he said, oh, don't worry. It goes after because he doesn't want to bring this out and hurt everybody. But if we elect her or put her in, then he's going to release stuff 10 times worse than the devil worship. And so it's pure genius, and so that's the issue. What's coming next? 
uh, and there's no way of any of us knowing. And of course, if I even intimated that I might know, then people would immediately assume that I'm a Russian agent and that he confides everything in me that he plans to do, an absurdity. Uh, in any event, uh, I am uh, headed down your way. Uh, I will be in Texas uh, Monday. Uh, and uh, I know that we will talk over the weekend. This is literally hour to hour. We, we are getting new information every hour. We're on tomorrow. I'm going to do a special 6 to 8 p.m. transmission, Infowars.com forward slash show. We're going to tweet that out to everybody. Special Saturday night show. So if you want to pop in, we'll uh, have you, Roger. Thank you for everything. But I, I, I mean, I got to tell you, I mean, who could get sick of Marilyn Monroe and cheese enchiladas? I mean, why are these guys and gals... I guess they're just evil. I guess it's just the power to do something, you know, that that, that nobody else does. I mean, is that it? Uh, it's, it's elite deviance. There's a certain subset of people in the country, so powerful, so wealthy, so connected, they can do whatever they want. And the law, up till now, has not applied to them. That I, is about to change. I think it's all coming to an end. Final question. I got to go. We got one minute left anyways. Uh, am I wrong? I mean, he's ahead in all the battleground states, even in polls that oversample. I mean, it looks like landslide for Trump. Uh, as, as Ronald Reagan would say, I am cautiously optimistic. Bigger win than Reagan had, or or, 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 or will they steal it even if he, I mean, maybe give her all 50 states. Hell. I am cautiously optimistic. And Trump's in good spirits. In excellent spirits. Never heard him happier. All right, Roger Stone, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, my friend. Many thanks. <clears throat> now, we'll be back Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., but I'm coming up here, and the crew's going to be here, and I'm going to be on tomorrow, 6 to 8 p.m. I figure by then we'll have most of the news of the day. We'll be able to cover it all. I went total with this devil worship stuff because, I mean, I already saw it this morning. Everybody's like, whoa, this is what Alex Jones says, and now it's, there it is. Well, it's the reality. I mean, I just go where it is. If you got Secret Service and FBI saying, she smells like hell. She flops around the ground, acts like a demon. She freaks out. She hisses. She, and I go, well, and I'm like, well, I go, Linda Blair, the exorcist. And then you got the New York Daily News saying, she acts like Linda Blair. She freaks, like, I mean, in another voice, like, I'll kill you and I need you. I mean, this is, I mean, this is whoa. I mean, she'll start attacking the Secret Service, foaming at the mouth. Climbing the walls. The march. All right, folks, we are back live. I want to take a few phone calls. We had some phone trouble with Pacheni. He's having to reschedule to tomorrow or Sunday. Weird stuff going on with Roger's phone as well, but we got him on. I'll be back tomorrow, um, four to I mean six to six to eight p.m. Then Sunday, four, four to six p.m. And I'll be filing reports live throughout the day as things unfold. I've known for a long time from sources what the uh, Clintons are into, and a bunch of other people are into. And basically, if you can imagine it, they're into it. Let me tell you something. It takes a lot of will to steal almost all the money from, say, the Haitians. And to advertise yourself as the folks that are taking the money to help them and then steal it. Let me tell you something. Every child that died, the UN poisoned the water supply, killed 10,000 kids. Chelsea's saying to her mom and dad, why are you doing this? You're killing people. Because Chelsea hadn't been brought into all this stuff. Because she's Webster Hubble's daughter. She doesn't really have it in her. I'm not saying she's perfect. But Chelsea obviously has somewhat of a soul left. You don't steal from kids and have a soul. When you do stuff like that, it turns you over to evil. And you can see that Hillary is turned over to evil. So we should all just thank God we're not with her. And I, and I didn't realize throughout the broadcast the last few days I've been saying, thank God I'm not with her. Thank God we're not with them. And I wasn't thinking that as like a deliberate pun on I'm with her. It's just like, in fact, I'm always saying, thank God we're not them. Thank God we're not with these people because I'm not perfect. But man, let me tell you something. Grabbing kids out of their backyards in my ball of wax. And let me tell you, that's what they're into. And I don't care what they do to me at this point or anything else. All that matters is they get stopped. And see, that's why they say I got this dark heart, because they, they're they're spiritual, they're they're tuned into the whole spiritual internet of things, the sixth sense, and they know I'm like a big giant flamethrower to burn their house down. I don't care. I'm a machine coming after them, a force of nature.
and so are you. They don't like that. I'm not some three-year-old they got in some dungeon. They've caught all these globalists, top judges in Europe, little kids in these dungeons. And I mean, you can look it up, man. It's crazy. They've caught Rothschild castles with a woman escapes weighs like 85 pounds, and the police get there. There's all these other women locked up in dungeons and dead, and then nothing happens. I mean, that was in. What's crazy is it comes out like in the Times of London. That was like 16 years ago I covered that Burgundy deal. And they dig up all these dead bodies of kids and women with their hearts chopped out, Jimmy Savelle and the top BBC people raping little kids, slitting their throats. They, they lay plastic out in the prime minister's office. And they march these little kids in. And I was told this like 15 years ago by David Icke. He's on air. He lists the prime minister. He lists Jimmy Savelle. Pull up Jimmy Savelle. One person looks more evil than Hillary because it's hard to look more evil than her. And they lay out the clear plastic, and the little eight-year-old girl's brought in. And then Savelle grabs him by the hair and just double-edged daggers across that throat, and blood just spews. And then the prime minister masturbates to that. And then it came out the prime minister was involved with kids and Savelle and this dungeon. That prime minister's dead now. This is from the late 70s. But my God, that's Prince Charles' best friend. And the guy that had national security access, the royal family, nobody else had. And the guy who did have a sex dungeon. And the guy that did was caught with little kids. And the guy that ran the national charity for little kids in England. Can you imagine being a four-year-old girl in that? If you're a radio listener and you're being spared looking at him. Can you imagine that demon? Not just that photo. Look at every photo. It's like Hillary. You're repulsed. You're, you wouldn't let, if you saw him going down the street, you'd go to the other side. But two months ago, I was on the hike and bike trail. And for security reasons now, I always bring somebody with me, and we're always locked and loaded as well. Quite frankly, I'm not getting into inside baseball, but goes on around here, but it's, it's gotten to be a little bit serious in the ball game at this point. And I'm like 100 yards away, and I saw these really super white-looking people in black. It looks really creepy. I went, man, I got a bad, these people, I could feel them. And as I got up close to them, they all had like pentagram necklaces. They were super white and weak. There was the old woman and the younger woman and the man. They were just like, eh, 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 past me. They were going up the hill. I was going down the hill. And I was like, I sensed them 150 yards away. Like I was like, Phew. like the more you get into this stuff, fighting them, you're like, Phew. and I, they were so weak. They think they're powerful. They're totally turned over to evil. And they're like, pathet they're the most pathetic people. But the God of this world wants empty vassals. You look at these New York Times praising this devil worshiper lady and all this today. That's their counter. You know, worship the devil. It's so sexy. It's so trendy. And they're like pathetic. You wouldn't want to hang around with them for anything. It just makes me thank God I'm not with her. And what they don't even understand is they think they're given all this advanced knowledge because they're into Satanism. And if you were actually fighting evil and involved, if you're unconscious, you don't have any knowledge at all. But if you're conscious of fighting evil, then the level of knowledge opens up to where you can't believe what you've got. The God's not going to give these people that knowledge. Again, fallen evil is looking for empty vessels like this because it'll do I mean, who wants to go to a party and drink blood semen? Podesta. I want to go to a party and eat some chicken tacos and drink a beer and <laughs> have a fun, tell jokes. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Just like going after you never gets old. You know, I've had one time I stepped on a nail, went right through my foot when I was about 11. I wasn't the type to go to doctors. I didn't complain to mommy and daddy. And it swelled up about a week and a half later, this big, giant pustule. And, you know, I wasn't into pain and blood. But I, with, with a bunch of alcohol and stuff, I was like a 10 or 11. I don't want to go to the doctor. And I heated it up with a lighter. I put alcohol in it. And I just jabbed that sucker in there. And it felt so good. It hurt so good. All that pus came out. And I wasn't into pus. I wasn't into blood. My instincts knew from all my ancestors, before there were doctors, what I should do about that. And you know what? It got all better on its own. A little bit of planner's wart later, the doctor had to remove, but I, I knocked it out. 
swell up overnight. I'm sitting there about to go to school. I'm not going to bet you go to the doctor. I'm going to heat this up, get this pus out. And so I don't take pleasure stomping these people down, but it's like lancing a, 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 a pus-filled wound. Wound. And so that's where I stand with Hillary and the rest of them. Is that you are the pus-filled wound and you will be removed. You know, I read about this 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 particular lady and, and, and others, how these billionaires will pay tens of millions for one of their pieces of art, and they admit it's a sacrament. It won't go to homeless kids. They want to spend a bunch of money on something evil and worthless and ugly because it's part of the denigration of humanity that that's even going on. It's, it's, a, it's a sin against God. It's a, it's a sin against common sense. It's something unnatural because God controls everything good and everything bad to a great extent, but lets evil have free will. So they think doing something totally abomination, something totally abominable, is like some new invention. Like a person that has uh, dementia writing on the walls with their feces. And that's what you've got is spiritual dementia. You're not some big great artist, you're not some big great mind, there's a reason whatever interdimensional stuff you're tuned into is so low and dumb, all it wants to do is roll around in blood and piss on itself. Oh, wow, that's so advanced. I'm so impressed. Wow, you're so incredible. You're so angelic. It just wants to kill you, Hillary, and it already killed your soul, your mind, your future. It's going to get your body. Same thing with your witch friend and Podesta. I mean, you're losers up there trying to show everyone how powerful you are because you're willing to run around and do horrible things no one else will do. Little newsflash. We don't do those things because they're not good. There's no point to them. But there is a place in the universe, I guess, for this type of energy, and that's who these folks have sold out to. Let's just hope and pray that uh, we stop them before they turn this planet into another molten dead zone. Like, believe me, this the, 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 whatever's in these people ain't of this world, as the Bible says, and it's done it before. So God promises us it's, it's before everybody's dead, well, they'll be stopped. And so we may not stop them now, but what we're doing will cause the waves in the pond throughout eternity and time that will change the outcome for these folks. And it's our opposition to these literal devil-worshipping, demon-possessed entities. It is our resistance to them that elevates us and forces us to transcend. And so that's why God allows us to exist. So that we can really get a bird's eye view on where evil leads. Because you got to actually experience it. You can't for eternity, as new souls, new creatures, new free entities God's created, just sit here and be told about evil. You have to experience it at point blank range. You have to live it. You have to see it. You have to breathe it. You have to be tortured by it so that you will always have a spiritual memory of just how nasty this is so that you've chosen which side you want to be on? Not with her. Never with this. Never, never, never with these people. Forever. All that matters is we're not with her. That's why she says, with her, with her, with the harlot, with the death, with the pain, with the failure, with the ugliness, with Satan, with her, with her, with her. No, not with you. Never. Take me to the corner of the universe, the furthest away from you. And we will be away from them. But first we have to experience it. It's just very sad, the children who they target. The free, open soul with all the potential in the universe in it. The seed that God created before it's been corrupted in the world. Attacking like piranha at the gift that Christ has given us. But it will be Jesus Christ. Make no mistake, these whore-run globalist churches are, this, are the seat of Satan. But let me tell you, they hate the name Jesus Christ. They hate the name of God. They hate that because it's real. And because they know Christ came to set the captives free 
is Jesus Christ is the fortress, the strength, the weapons to defeat the enemy. And the enemy will be brought low. Make no mistake, the enemy knows their time is short. They can feel it all draining away from them right now. And they can feel the furnace of hell preparing like giant jaws to take them into the womb that they've always dreamed of. That's why they try to act like they love it. They're getting power from it because they're so afraid of it. God's just. Hell is being in eternity with Hillary Clinton and Podesta and this woman. I'm going to go to break, come back and hit some other news. And then, of course, now the news is nice, 7 o'clock Central. I'm going to follow more videos. Epic stuff is going on, undoubtedly, here to cover. But uh, we're not designed to go nonstop hour after hour, so I've got to cut back here. Uh, continuing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you about a few of the sponsors that make this broadcast possible. Harvest Right has amazing freeze-drying systems. I keep saying another term for it, but it's freeze-drying. It's not dehydrator. They have invented a home freeze dryer that will help you and your family prepare and preserve food you want. For those of you who don't know what freeze drying is, is the best and easiest way to preserve food for the long term and short term use. With this home freeze dryer, you can now preserve the food your family actually loves to eat. Everything from garden produce to meats, cheeses, to your very own homemade meals. Freeze drying locks in all the nutrition for your food, unlike canning or dehydrating, and it can last 25 years without any preservatives while retaining the texture, taste, flavor, everything else from when it's fresh. We live in uncertain times, to say the least. Having a freeze dryer is the best investment you can make to make sure you and your family are prepared. HarvestRight.com. Visit HarvestRight.com or call 800-594-4635. Today, that's HarvestRight.com or call 800-594-4635. And that's something great to have. I mean, look, just getting non-GMO heirloom seeds... We have the widest selection, InfoWarsStore.com. And just the the, the, the the ritual of life and just tilling soil and planting crops and just doing something regenerative and good takes you closer to God, not these churches. I mean, just, just, just do the ritual of planting crops, folks, and you begin to pull yourself away because they only kill. Folks, I can tell you this right now. I can, I can feel it energetically. The next... Uh, Three days is going to be really serious, and then Monday and Tuesday, and God knows what Hillary's going to pull. I mean, Hillary's gone right now. She can barely walk around without her handlers giving him programming terms. I haven't ever told Roger Stone my theory, because they call me a conspiracy theorist, even though 95% of what we cover is admitted fact. But if anybody fits the mold of MK Ultra classic mind control that was going around when Hillary Clinton was born, <coughs> it's Hillary Clinton. She She... She acts like a programmed individual. And there have been people that have been programmed individuals that have reportedly been abused, like Kathy O'Brien, by Hillary. And they, they've said they think she might be programmed. And these are declassified programs using electroshock, uh, different drugs, you name it. Hillary fits all the basic MOs of that. All I know is she's evil. And... That's who they want to put in charge is somebody they've got so blackmailed that if you ever bring them down, it just doesn't bring down the person. It brings down the country. The problem is the globalists have now gotten the step of bringing down the country. And so now I can see the master work that's been done, and I'll admit that. I think I'm going to shoot a video after the show, actually. This is so big, I shouldn't just throw it out here at the end. But my problem is there's two ways to do this. I can sit back and calculate everything I do and then only do a very little bit. Or I can go with my gut, the research and what's right, and dominate. Because there's a lot of media and a lot of stuff happening, and I've got to do a lot to be able to even counter it. I think I've gone the right way. But when I attacked Assange and others for not releasing more earlier, I was wrong. Whoever's advising Assange is a lot smarter than I am. Because let me tell you something. I can now see what they did. And it's a piece of handiwork because it had to be the Democrats defending it and the MSM and then the Patriots and others exposing it so that when they defend it, try to cover it up and it finally comes out, America doesn't get the blame because that was the plan down the road. And America wasn't involved in this. It had to be where they had to defend it all and they first gave them 
weak stuff so they defend it and get caught on the line and defend, 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 defend until with successive approximation and titration, they will accept the entire thing and defend even the ritual murder of small children. So my hat's off to Julian Assange and everybody else. You are smarter than I am. And uh, that is that is something to behold. So my hat's off. And I'm just glad I can be here like a bull in a china shop trying to get the information out. But uh, we're out of time. Not only news tonight, 7 o'clock. More reports at InfoWars.com. Every hour is like a month right now. Every week's like a year. This is a critical time. Get the word out. Spread the links. InfoWars.com.